Built on it because you've been so. I spill a drink on myself every single day. Do you know that? I didn't. Why? You didn't know? Uh, a small, a small amount of liquid comes out of one of the things I drink every single day. This is going to sound crazy. It's been happening for years, and I usually, it's usually like I, I usually don't miss a day. Hmm. And I just come to the conclusion that someone put like a small hex on me or something. Spilling is different than dripping. S a dripping, dripping. Welcome back to another episode of Taking Shoes. My name is Rick Glassman, and we're, today we have Sal. Am I saying it right? Volcano? Well, you did say it right, and you're one of the only people that's ever said it right. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> oh, but I know how microphones work like this, right? Oh, motherfucker. I had the... Well, for the first however long, um, Glassman boppers, you may have noticed that Sal's audio is trash. It wasn't plugged in. Let's hear you now. So was that unusable up until then? Uh, it wasn't unusable, no, uh, but it's going to be from our backup room mic where it's going to be staticky, where people are going to be listening and it's going to be like, this is, he has this great setup and this is what it sounds like. So, but then it'll be a nice surprise when you figure it out because they, they, they were probably thinking, oh, is this going to be like an hour, an hour and a half of this? Especially so. people who don't know the pod already that came here to see you. Right. Even though they don't know how to say your last name. <laughs> <laughs> Most we'll don't. be right back. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by The Freeze Pipe. Visit The Freeze Pipe. Let's start again. Visit thefreezepipe.com. What's my and list? use code TISA for 10% off your order. Visit thefreezepipe.com and, and, <laughs> and use code TISO for 10% off your you first can tell order. You've already used the freeze pipe a little bit. That's thefreezepipe.com and code TISO for 10% off. Shipping is free. Your throat and lungs will, will thank appreciate you. appreciate it. What's up, boppers and goblins? I'm doing a headlining show at the Irvine Improv March 16th. If you want to come, ticket link is in the description. Come on out, enjoy the show, and as always, I didn't tell you what to say. Have a great time. Yeah. <laughs> really, come to this show. Don't miss it. Anybody near Irvine, I know Ira's going. Go to the show. Shout out to Ira. Ira's your friend who's coming? Yes. Nice. Now what? Should we go back to the episode, or do you want to watch more of the Super Bowl? Oh, look, it. that's a commercial with Bradley Cooper and his mom. Oh, right. That is. Yeah. <laughs> and we're back. So uh, let's do a little cold open to let people know, don't worry, the audio will get better. Okay. So let's open it with this. Will you do 30 seconds, introduce yourself, say, don't worry, the sound's good. Yes. The first few minutes might be a little... A hundred percent. Could you, you like do it to with song? To camera? Yep. That's your camera. You know. Okay. Look right to camera when I do this, yep. or it's just me and you talk, having a, having uh, a We're chat. both here. You're, okay. you're the, so you're going to address the audience first. Yes. How you guys doing? I, blah, blah, blah. How you uh, guys Rick doing? Rick and I, you know, you yeah. could bring me in. Picture uh, it like the, the, the camera is who you're speaking to, okay. but I'm here. So out of respect, you know, bring me in a I little. Understand. Yeah, I understand. I yeah, understand. Yeah. Uh, hey, everyone. My name is Sal Volcano. I'm here on the Shoes Off pod. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And Rick Glassman is the host, and he's right across from me right here. And you might notice that there's real crisp audio mm -hmm. and great lighting. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. In a minute, yeah. that audio is going to take a shit. It's going to be temporary. When I say temporary, I can mean what? I can mean a lot of things, but I won't, I'm going to give it away. It's about two, three minutes. Two tree minutes. Two tree. How and, long is a tree minute? Uh, I, I wish I had a snappy response, but you know what I do? I get very analytical 
and I start to think about that and I think of it in a real way. Yeah, a tree minute is around two and a half minutes, so it's five minutes. Okay. Oh, I forgot to tell you, if you ever need a snappy response or like a comeback or a jab, we have a book for you right there. Okay. So if there's ever, if you're ever feeling a little bullied or mm, beaten bully. up. Mm. Are you in therapy for that? No. Okay. No, but I found that book here and, and uh, guests have been you kind of like it? burning me with it. Yeah. <laughs> gulp, gulp, gulp. So um, welcome and nice to meet you. I'm excited to be here and it's very nice to meet you. Yeah. So you're, sh right you're filming, may I say? Sure. Uh, Avatar 3. Yes. Uh, in New Jersey. Yes. And you what? You, you touched, texted me and you're like, listen, I could probably leave now and do it. Otherwise we can't do it. Yeah. Because uh, so on set, I'm kind of like tied down. And they were going to have a, uh, a post-set production meeting that I, I was like, that's what's going to really go long. So what I did was I tried to get a lot of the business out of the way quick and then told everyone I could finish it over the weekend so I could leave early to come here to you. But if I didn't leave at that time, they would just see that I'm hanging around. And they'd be like, what are you What are you talking about? You said you had to leave right away. That's, that's really respectful of you to me. Yeah. Like, I respect people even before I meet them. Tell me about that. Yeah. Like what happened today? Huh. Yeah. Like I respect someone I'm going to meet tonight. I already respect them. I respect people and the idea of people until I have a reason not to. It reminds me of In Dangerous Minds. Do you remember the movie? Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Michael Rappaport, right? I don't think so. No? Oh, no, no. I'm thinking of, uh, what's the one? Michael Rappaport, you're thinking, who played one of the cats in Batman. Yes, but yes, but he was in- um, Michael Rappaport. Michael Rappaport. <laughs> Uh, no, he was in that movie where he played the skinhead and uh, he shot people. I are you thinking of Edward Norton and American History X? No, I know that one too. That movie is hilarious. That one was a that one. That's AFI's uh, one of the top comedies of all time. Is it? Yeah, in Germany. Um, I Michael Rappaport. He's shoot. He's a school shooter. Dangerous Minds is Michelle Pfeiffer and the kid can't read. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, he could read, just you know, not well. He said Bayard though when he went in Bird. I believe you. I don't remember. Okay. Yeah, uh, I I do remember. Um, uh, Is it weird that I, I I'm like confusing it with another movie, but then I'm quoting lines from the actual movie? I think the weirdest part was when you we already established Dangerous Minds. You knew what it was, and then you said Dangerous Minds. <laughs> yeah. I don't. Know. Does she like? Why did I do well, that? She could fight a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Does she do that in the movie? Is she like? Kind of. I don't know. But you know what? You might be thinking of a very similar premise, a movie called The Substitute. And I forget the actor's name, but he was the catcher in Major League where he was fighting. Yes, more. yes, yes. Was he also in Platoon? I try not to speak about other people. Okay, okay. I also remember in that movie them talking about My Darling, My Hamburger. Okay. I saw the, I, this is a book for me. That's a movie? It's a book. Yeah. They talk about that book in the movie. Oh, okay. Let me tell you what I was thinking though. Mm -hmm. In Dangerous Minds, however long into the semester, people aren't doing too well, some of this class. And she goes, I'm going to give everybody an A. Everybody, you have an A. It's up to <sighs> you. It's unorthodox. It's up to you to keep that A. Mm. And that confidence that they have, like it's mine to lose as opposed to having this uphill battle. That it's confidence. Just perspective because everyone had an A going in already. That's what it makes me think of when you're talking about giving people respect. I understand that. What a good connection. I will tell you, though, it's a little bit patronizing to the people there because they already had that deal and she's making like she's- No, no, it wasn't day one. She came in in the middle of the semester and still were a oh, few weeks in. She wiped everything clean. Yeah. Okay, then I respect it. Mm -hmm. I almost didn't respect her. Yeah, But you respected her before. You had a reason to before, lose the respect. But then I had the reason and now I'm back. Have you ever found yourself in a position where you were not treated with the respect you felt you deserved and you consciously thought, that's not going to be me? Um, sure. I mean, here and there all the time. Do you have any examples? Mm. Hmm. You fucking Jew, bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is that book? Uh, uh, must be that time of the month. Um, uh, do I have any examples? Uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just talking about the everyday kind of thing. People yeah. that, you know, just pe people you pass in the street that aren't just, uh, kind. You know, I'm sure I have had people disrespect the question again. No. Mm -hmm. So you're on a show called Impractical Jokers. Mm -hmm. Now that is an interesting kind of character trait of yours. Someone mm -hmm. who offers so many so much respect. Well, at the same time, your job is to go into strangers and in a way. And I'm sure you've spoken on this in podcasts, right? Yeah, uh, the, the, the idea, the idea of people feeling disrespected yeah. before they know it's a 
it's a prank. Sure, sure. I mean, our our angle is usually not that. Like, we pick it up from. We don't want really to get people angry. It happens, and mm -hmm. like it's almost sometimes you can't even avoid it, you know. But but we're just going for like confusion, amusement, and we actually are going to throw ourselves under the bus. So yeah, I might say some stuff that might get at someone angry, but the point is, is I'm going through it because I don't want to say those types of things. Like, would you say before? Like, did you say fucking Jew bastard? Is that what you said? Cold open. Cold open. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't want to say that to you, right? But they might ask me to, and, and then I could say no. And then I later on I I, I get I, I get punished because I said no. Punish how so? At the end of the episodes, whoever has denied the most. Oh requests, right, 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 yeah. right, yeah, yeah. We just so where I just came from, mm -hmm. um, we didn't. I, I just filmed an episode. Okay, we had a we started doing guests, and we had a, our guest for this episode was Alf. I don't know how old you are, but Alf was a big deal to me. I'm 22, but I know Alf. Okay, yeah. So you might know him just from- He's the with the nose. Yes. He's from the, another planet. Yes. And yes. who voiced him? Adam Ray? Paul Fusco. Although Adam Ray probably could do that. One of the most talented people I've ever met. Most talented people all around? I know that all he goes around. on the road with you sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Adam is my, by far, most repeat Tyso guest. Tyso oh, really? is the acronym of yes. Take Your Shoes Off. Absolutely. What's an acronym? WAA. Okay. So- you gave an acronym, uh, 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 American History X. No, you said AIF. AFI, American Film Institute. Right. Yeah, I acronymed earlier and then I made believe like I didn't yeah. know. It. Yeah. He, uh, he came on for Christmas as Santa. Was he Dirty Santa? No, uh, he did a Dirty Santa uh, thing, but uh, no, he was just Santa. I mean, he's yeah. dirty, yeah, but yeah, it wasn't yeah, that character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he'll message me a lot like, hey, I'm, uh, I'm in prosthetics. Do you want a pod? I'm like, what do you do? And he goes, yeah. I was just trying to film some shit. <laughs> it's <laughs> unbelievable. He has so much stuff of him just walking around. It's like Dr. Phil or Jay Leno or whoever. It's crazy. How did you and Adam link up? I think primarily, I think, oh, geez, back in the day, maybe it's maybe social media or we just have mutual friends in comedy, I think. Something, one of those or both. Maybe he followed me. Oh, that happens a lot. Someone will follow, I'll follow someone on social media. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I remember, I knew who he was before we met. I think just doing spots out in LA and stuff. And then he knew who I was. And He was the first. He's become a dear friend. Same. Yeah. He's the first person I met out in LA that I had been watching him do stand up a lot. I used to, do you know the Haha -Ha Cafe? Yeah. I used to go there because you could get up, you pay five bucks, you get to do the open yeah. mic. And I would always see him performing there, like on the real shows. And I'm like, this guy is fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, man. And then one day he came up and he talked to me because he heard me talking about Magic the Gathering. He's like, you should do a bit about that. And I was like, <gasps> and you did, did you get one? A bit about Magic the yeah, Gathering? Yeah. 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 He's so, you're very quick and very funny. He's, you remind me of him. He's so quick and so funny, man. He kills when he comes on uh, uh, on the road with me. Kills. He, yeah. he leaves the place leveled. I'm not kidding. He's one of my funniest friends. Yeah. What do you- And he's the sweetest guy too. Just sweet. Mm -hmm. I bet you if you licked him, he'd taste sweet. I'm not going to do it, but you could. I have a thing with licking friends. Mm -hmm. I always do it. Okay. All right. So you've tasted them. Sweet. Oh, checks out. What is your take on having somebody go on the road to open for, is it featuring for you? Yeah. Uh, where they, where they kill. Cause I've heard people say they don't want somebody to kill before them. I, I love it. I wouldn't want anything else. It helps you. Yeah. It helps my audience and it helps me. I mean, I, I want the funniest people with me. <laughs> you know what I mean? He does. He's, he's one of the hardest people to follow actually. Can we get him on the phone? Of course. That's awesome. What a great idea. Can we play a little I was texting impractical them earlier. joke? Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's pretend that you are, you know what? I have a pitch, Yeah. but I would like to hear, do you have one? Like, cause you think about these things a lot. Do you have a, a, a pitch that you would want to do? He's going to know our voices, right? So where, where were you? Just tell me where you were headed with it. And maybe I could use that as inspiration or something. Mine was pretty broad. Okay. <laughs> just to just to just to do it. Okay. No, no, I had an idea. It was actually a beautiful broad, and I mean no disrespect when I call her a broad, but I was gonna have you play one of our mothers. Sure, but that's I, that's too. I'm gonna easy. go down in flames on that. Yeah. I can't do. I can't. He has great diction. He's an amazing voice. I can't do voices right. or anything like that. Right. I mean, I could try. Hi, hi. I mean, no, no. you want to practice it with me? Uh, can I hear what your mother sounds like? My mother? Yeah. Oh God. Okay. Yeah. Um. Now she's like. Well, she doesn't really, she's, there's going to be a complaint in here, but I don't know her voice. Like she just, it's not like she has a voice like, oh, or, or like, Sell. you know, it's not a voice, you know, like I don't do it, but I could, I definitely can get in her mind. 
I can it's going to be it's going to be negative quickly. There's going to be some complaints in then and then, you know, is she funny complaining or just she's <laughs> funny because it's just like she is she's a one of a kind. I mean, it's just it's a lot. It's a lot with her. I would love God to, love her. I would love to someday um, if schedules align, align, mm. uh, get your mom and my mom to podcast. Oh, my God. That's funny. But uh, not without us. Without us. Without us. Oh, my God. That's 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 insane. And I would like to ask your mom to do her best impression of you for the podcast. Okay. And my mom to do my, her best impression of me. I love it. And then the whole time they're doing characters while they get to know each Does other. Does your mom, is she, where, do, where, do, where are you from? Where Cleveland. She, Boy, my arm's tired. Nice. Yeah. Um, well, my mom's here in Jersey. My mom will come here. My yeah. mom comes to New York. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, we got, got a family in New that York. That might not be at that far to reach. Them. Has your mom ever done a pod? She, I, we thought of bringing her online. She has done Impractical Jokers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she had to do, she was on kind of recent, semi-recently. Um, we put someone in an ice bath. Uh, Brian Quinn is a guy on the show. Mm -hmm. He was in an ice bath and he couldn't get out until he went through a series of uh, challenges with my mom. The first one was that she was in an office building and she was on closed circuit, like she was on television. Mm -hmm. And he had to talk her through um, hooking up a VCR correctly. That's great, man. Yeah, and we had a box of all different wires and and this is because that's what moms need help with, right? Yeah, like I mean, mom she, needs help with stuff. She needs help with that, and uh -huh. so you know, and he's in this freaking ice bath, and we we were told that you know, fifteen minutes ish is you can be in it. He was in the thing for like an hour. He actually came out with burns. An hour? Yeah, he was in almost an hour. He he was allowed to yeah, get that's out. Dangerous. He was allowed to get out, but if he got out, so, something happened to him terrible as well. So he didn't want to stay out for too long. And then she had to. Then she had to describe famous people to him without saying who their names and he had to guess who they were that was a travesty she said i remember what, it was uh she goes all right this guy he's he he's a rapper it looks like he has a lot of money let me uh, try yeah i'll tell you exactly what she said so he's a rapper i think he's a no he's a singer he's a singer um he looks like he has a lot of money um drake he's yes that's crazy that you said that because my next thing was she said he's in the Wu Tang Clan, but it was Drake. I wouldn't fact. have guessed Drake after that. Yeah, right. Unless she said he, she, instead of Wu, if she said Awu because of his owl. But sweatshirt. wait, let's talk. Yes, okay, owl. Yes, let's talk about this. Okay, there's a lot of rappers who have a lot of money. That was a that was a great guess. So here's this is this is my superpower. Oh my god! I thought you just could name rappers. Oh God. I would have liked to have been told. Usually I'm told. Ah, uh, this is fine. As a matter of fact, wow. It must have hurt when your daddy dropped you. What's up? This feels to me like when I go to, like uh, in my childhood, when I went to my friend's house and we played. Uh. This is what this feels like. That, and that's a huge compliment. That's a huge compliment because yeah. I always wanted people to play over and they didn't want to for this very reason. <laughs> we'll be right back. Shit, shit in their mouths and stop your penis on their faces? Uh, no, just like directing them. Right. Like, all right, I want to play this way. We're going to do this, you know, choreographing lightsaber right. fights. And they're like, I don't even watch Star Wars. So your sister's ill, huh? No, 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 no. I, I actually don't know about your family and if any of that is real. I have a sister who's ill, yeah. I swear to God? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real? Yeah, yeah. I'm very sorry. It's okay. I actually stopped myself from saying that because I'm like, what if? Yeah. Uh, sometimes a bit that I will do is um, with people I know. Yeah. Is if I'm like interrupted by someone doing jokes or I'm doing a silly thing, I then like do a turn to be like, so. Uh, uh. Right. And then I'm like, thought to myself, oh no. Right. And then I. F yeah. Is the energy bad now? No, no. I am sorry. She's not ill. I tricked you. I was acting. My legs are crossed, so I, I lied, but it doesn't count. I'm, we're playing like kids, right? That's what I used to do. Throw me the book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you should show off your elbows more. They're the smoothest part of your body. Wow. I, it was a good one. We How saw, dare you, sir? We saw yesterday. So why don't we switch places and you be funny and I'll be an asshole? That was in there? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. That was laying around here? You know, the universe is open if you just pay attention. Sometimes you draw the it's sentences. Just, it's, it's a gift to you in sentences. That's right. Yeah. You know, Sal, Sal, mm -hmm. Sal, when we call Adam, I think I have a, a device. I think it's either you calling him or well, me. I'm assuming you're going to use your phone. 
But who's going to be speaking? Oh, okay. But the, the device is the phone. That's right. how you're going to call him. Yeah, but you could call him. Oh, okay. Say one of us calls him. Okay. And it's about trying to get the other one on their podcast. So I'm calling Adam. Hey, could you help me get Sal on my podcast? Gotcha. And or you call him saying, could you help me get Rick on uh, my podcast? Okay. And or I want to do Rick's podcast. You know, one of those things. Yeah. So I've spoken to him about this because we had been trying to connect for mm -hmm. a bit. And I I think I saw something with you two together and then I knew that he knew you. And then I brought you up and I said, oh, he seems really funny. I'm trying to get, uh, you know, we're trying to get on the pod. And, he, you know, so we've, we've had this semi conversation already. Do you want to call him and tell him about what you just found out about your sister? <sighs> He's close enough that I would tell him. I, I, I feel bad telling him that. I would feel bad calling him up and telling him. Right. You know what? You know what? You're right. That's that's not positive pranking. Yeah. If someone pranked me like that, I would. I agree. I, I actually am. I would get. I would be very sad. I'd feel that. You know what I would think if somebody did that? What? I have a sister who's ill. Yeah. Swear to God. Yeah. yeah. Sucks to be you, dude. Oh, wow. <laughs> you got me. A lot of people don't know this, but I am actually am a, an award-winning dramatic actor. Do you find that- Please tell me, where, 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 where can I see you? Uh, as we see it on Amazon Prime. So, okay, who's in that? Me, uh, Sue Ann Pian, Sosie Bacon, Joe hey. Montagna. Montana or Montana or Montana? Not Joe Montana. Okay. Joe Montana, Montana is a football player. Joe Montana. Joe Montana is not in this. Okay. Joe Montana. Joe Montana. Okay. And who is it? Sandy, it's Ann Sue Pe Who is it? Who is it? Sue Ann Peen. Sue Ann Peen. Albert Rotecki. Albert Rotecki's in it. Chris Pang. Chris Pang. Sosie Bacon. Really? And uh, so if anybody ever asks you how many degrees you are away from Kevin Bacon, you could just say, dude, leave me alone. I'm, I'm working here. What is Bacon his daughter? Oh yeah. No way. And she takes huge shits. Really? Ooh, man, there's some huge shit. Whoa, what's this? Wow. This is really cute. Should I try it on? I'll try it. Her size. So cute. I think that this fits. It's a small continue. I'm Kevin Bacon's daughter, and I take huge shits. Okay, great. And we're back. Wow, and she kept the bacon. Yeah. Yeah. I like Kevin Bacon. I've always have. Yeah? yeah. You know, um, Kevin Bacon was just at a show with Adam Ray. Let's put up a picture. That's what we could do. Say that I just, I want you to call Adam okay. and talk about how you just ran it. You did a, something with Kevin Bacon and he was talking about your show. Did he do? Uh, he was in the audience at Adam's show. Okay. Adam, Adam, I think it was an Adam Ray and Friends. I'm not sure. Adam's show also because he, this. Because he knows Adam or because so, so he was to happen to be there? So, I think he happened to be there. So Sosi asked if I was going to be at the comedy store that night. Okay. And I'm like, no. She's like, oh, I'm going. I think she said, because she knows I'm friends with Adam, because Sosie's a, a huge fan of the Take Your Shoes Off podcast. Oh, sure. The link of the, his daughter, sure. Yeah. So he's like, are you going to be there? Because I'm going to see Adam. I said, no. And then I saw Adam posting pictures with them. Okay. So you're working with Kevin Bacon. Yeah. He was, uh, he was on set today, maybe? I wonder if, because not, neither one of us is going to be able to do a good Kevin Bacon voice. Unless, let's get Kevin Bacon on the phone, too. Unless... <laughs> uh, so what I would love to do is have you see how long you go. And if it goes long enough, you're still on set, by the way. Okay. And then, oh, Kevin Bacon, and then, oh, Kevin Bacon's here, and then I'll be Kevin Bacon. Okay. All right. And by, by, you know, then he'll know it's sure. not, but I'll try. So, I'll, I'll, no problem. So, you want me to just bullshit with him about anything, or it's always about, hey, I'm on set. Guess what? Kevin Bacon's here today. Here's why I don't want it to be bullshit about anything, because I don't want him to be in the pocket of revealing stuff maybe he wouldn't want to. Of course, we'll ask for his permission Understood. beforehand, but Understood. let's limit this, what sure, we sure, need sure, to cut. Sure. So, it's basically, I'm on set, Kevin Bacon's here. Yep. Um, you know, I'm on set with Kevin Bacon. You know, subtext, I'm in my trailer, I'm, I'm away. Sure, sure, sure. Um, and uh, he was bringing up comedians, doesn't even know we know each other. Right. And brought you up because he saw you recently. Couldn't believe it. Right. Dave Chappelle, George Carlin. Tony Caruso. Okay. 
you know, or your version. <laughs> yeah. of this, you know, yeah. Well, I can say that, yeah. but if you, if you want to keep it real, that sounds like not that nothing against Adam, but you but, just named the two. Yeah. But but then it. But here here's the cheat. Okay. If he buys it, dude. I mean, I'll literally after this, let's go buy a Lamborghini because we right. just sold the farm. Okay. 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 If he doesn't, no, no, no I'm just kidding. But he did say you. No, are, no, 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 no. I can convince him if you want. Do, are those the names you say though, or do you think you need to bring names down a little bit? Well, that's what I was saying. But if you want, if you want to be up for the challenge, but not at the risk of the bit. So right, N O T R O T B. Yeah, acronym. A. Is that really it? I R I N A T. Not at the R O T B. Wow. W. Good at that. Y G A T. Is that one of your skill sets as I well do. as flying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A W A F. A W, as well as flying. Yeah. Yeah. Who do you think is going to be the most believable names you could say that it, one more echelon, it's not believable anymore? Okay. You know, like who are the highest that are still believable? Okay. I think that he'd probably go like, maybe he'd say like, uh, well, I mean, look, if you could say like a burp, I'd, I'd put him on pace with Chappelle. Yeah. Me personally, but I can give you like, no, no but this makes me like I'm ranking, well, in success, in people's eye, in the in the eye of the public, you know, I could say, well, I could say like Segura. Um, maybe I could say- What about Sebastian? He's right at the cusp of like one of the legends. Yeah. If yeah. not already a yeah, legend. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. I think he would believe Sebastian. Yeah. Because also Sebastian's in that circuit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Mind you, I say I just had an episode with Bill Burr that just came out. And at the beginning I was talking about, I did a little intro because- You did this with Burr? I did this with Burr. Did he, did he, was he- Play playing along with all these things shockingly so much, and I was so nervous. I was so nervous during. It. I talked to I can't wait a to couple friends of mine, and uh, no names, but one of them is a big name. And he, I say no names because Shh. it's Kevin Bacon. Right. <laughs> he goes. He goes. I tell him. He goes. Yeah. It's the it's the Bill Burr effect. <laughs> it's like really? people know. Yeah. It was still great. Everything yeah, was great. But yeah. I just was a little bit nervous, and he was just playing and just yeah. so playful. Yeah. But in the beginning, I talk about because I wanted people to know I know. Like I'm a little nervous. Uh, you know, Bill's up there with I say with Chappelle and Seinfeld. Yeah. Like those are probably the three for me. Okay. Um. So yeah, let's do it. Okay. So we just wanted to fully be fully be completely believable. So. Well, but but yeah, but you guys have like little challenges too, but we, we only have one shot at this. Right. You know, so it's not really the game yeah. as much. What would be a little challenge that you would do? Like, see if you could slip in, oh, I have to fart every now and then, <laughs> you know, like. Right, 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 right. <laughs> would you be comfortable if we did put you in an ice bath during this? You have the ice? Cut two. Remember this? Yeah. I guess we're out of the ice. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot of ice. Yeah. On short notice. If I were to give you, give me a warning. That's a good name of a show. On, on short, short notice. notice. And what you're doing is you're calling professionals who work in party planning and catering and basically service yes, industries yes. and see how much you could get out of them on short, short notice. notice. This week on short notice, do we have enough ice to put Sal in the bathtub to call Adam Ray for a bit? Right. It must, well, that must be sweeps week then if that's what it is. <laughs> Well, you know, it's a big episode. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> What do I owe this pleasure? What's up, brother? What are you doing? Uh, oh, thank God. I thought it was a butt dial. <laughs> no, no. My, my friends, my friends, the last butt, I, I couldn't handle another butt dial. The last butt dial I had was Bill Burr. And I fucking, and I told him on the podcast, right? Because he was, he, he, we had to do the podcast like two days later. And he, uh, I go, dude, I go, I, you know, you were calling me, uh, <laughs> You call me up, I see Bill Burr, and I was like, oh, shit. I was like, because we've texted, but we've never, you've never called me. I've never called you. So, <clears throat> so I fucking, I see Bill Burr on the phone. I fucking put the phone down. I roll my sleeves up. Yeah, I really, right? Tweet, right. Tweet, I tweeze my brows real quick. I'm just like, I want to make sure I lick my lips. I want to make sure I'm all ready. It has to be perfect. And then I go, yeah. and then I go, and then I go, uh, I pick it up and I go, Billy Burr. And there's just <laughs> some silence on the other end. <laughs> and there's nothing on the other end. That's so and I hear a conversation and I just go drop. And then he just goes. He goes, your whole life makes sense now. He goes, you really were a fat kid. He goes, your snacks were your friends. God, this is pathetic. And then he, goes, <laughs> he goes, he goes, all right. He goes, all right. So, so I wasn't, I, I called you on an accent and how else did I disappoint you? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Dude, you know, anyway. our boy, uh, that happened with, you know, Richard Kind, right? Of course you introduced oh, me yeah, to him. Oh yeah, of course. So, yeah. so Q met him at, um, at a function and he told Q, oh, you know, I'm a fan of the show and they exchange numbers. Right. And then. A couple of weeks later, Q gets a call from 
Richard Kind. And the same thing. He's like, oh my God, Richard Kind is calling me. Oh no, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. He got a voicemail from Richard Kind. He missed the call. And then he listened to it and it was three and a half minutes of a butt dial, right? But then in the last like 10 seconds, he notices the butt dial and on the voicemail, he goes, Brian Quinn, who the hell is Brian Quinn? And then he just hangs up. <laughs> Oh my fucking god! So dude. funny, yeah. That's amazing. I'm on set today. Um, oh great! I have a, a few people. How's it going? It's good. It's good. We had Alf today, okay. which is really cool. Alf. We had Alf on. We have Alf on right oh, now. Oh my fucking yeah, god! Yeah, man. yeah. Going great. It was. He was so great. Yeah. And a, this is just by I don't know by chain of events, or whatever. But someone is here who knows Kev, Kevin Bacon. Holy shit! Yeah. So we're talk. I was I was talking to Kevin Bacon before. And he was talking about comedy. He brought up a couple of comics. He said, uh, 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 Tom, 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 Tom Segura, Sebastian, Adam Ray. He brought you up. What? Yeah, <laughs> apparently he saw you. He saw your show or something. At the comedy store, yes. Yes. Well, he freaking brought Bro, you up, man. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, and I was, I was like, I'm going to go call him right now. I was like, that's literally my, that's my boy. Like, I got to, we, we, we tore oh together. My, oh, my God. Dude, he was at the comedy store randomly one night. And I uh, and I'm getting off. I'm walking out to the parking lot, literally, to go grab a friend to bring him in. And he's leaving with his daughter and a friend. And so he goes, "Hey, man!" And then he and I had some like a, an amazing crowd work night. And he uh, in the main room of the store. And he just was really complimentary, and we chatted for a little bit. And he goes, uh, "He because uh, there was a kid in the front row who was was in a band, and he told me like I was I was like well, the hit single of your that you got your band had. And he told me what it was, and I go, "Can I?" Yeah, I go, "Will you sing it for me?" He goes, "No." I go, "Can I?" guess how it went and then i like made up this whole song about you know using everything that was whatever and then and then he goes uh, he goes no that wasn't it at all whatever and bacon afterwards was like so did you have that song like pre-planned i was like kevin did you hear the question that just came out of your mouth i go well, you think i just have songs locked and loaded in case somebody is in a band and i need to make one up he goes i don't know how you guys do Dude, that's how but so I, that's that's a compliment to you um yeah I get, yeah i guess yeah that's so <sighs> fucking cool man yeah i no <sighs> <laughs> I love you. So I, don't know. I, do, I love my sister. Ill. <laughs> What's that? My sister. Is, my sister is ill. What? My sister is in a bad way. <laughs> I, I can't. All right. We, we, Bake, wait. All right, wait. Bacon, bacon didn't bring me up. <laughs> I, something has to happen. Something has to happen. Adam, this is Rick Glass. <laughs> And wait, wait, he didn't bring me up, did he? Uh, we, we, wait, 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 he wait, no, 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 I swear to God, no, no. this is wrong. This went wrong. This went, this went wrong. This, it went wait, wrong. It went completely wrong. went wrong. It went wrong. What the fuck? What happened? <laughs> what is happening right now? Is my mom dead? <laughs> All right, I, we, I just let you in on it because because both of us at a certain we had an idea of something you wanted to do. It went the wrong way. We both looked at each other at the same time. It was kind of like, oh, this is not going the way we meant it to go. Yeah. Adam, <laughs> we were just trying to do a fun and practical jokers thing. And the, we were maybe 20 minutes in, 30 minutes in, and more than half of it, all we're talking about is how funny you are. Right. So we like, oh, let's get him on the phone. And what could we do? And like Sal was going to play his mom or whatever. Yeah. We came up with this little bit. And then it got to a point where it was kind of real and kind of mean. You, uh, no, it, it, it never meant to be mean. So, I, Sal I, was mean. I told him to do something. <laughs> wait, wait. That. So wait, no. was I just a part of a, of a bit for the show? Well, not in Practical Wait. Jokers, a lesser Wait, known what? show. We're on Take Your Shoes Off. What? <laughs> we could, also we could take out anything here. <laughs> this is so, oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh. So now I got it. <laughs> Sal, Sal is in Rick's yes. apartment. Yeah. No, you're in New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rick is out there. Yeah. yeah. Rick's promoting his ABC show. That uh, hopefully will With run longer Supreme. than uh, no, undateable. Yeah, oh, okay. and so and so Rick has a real speaking part on this show, not like his part on undateable. Where he just <laughs> okay, right. every every fifth every fifth scene, he'd look in the camera and go, "And that's how scrambled eggs are made." Yeah, so, well, guess what, Adam? Be I've heard better, that story be before, much- an hour ago. <laughs> Rick, Rick, let me finish, dude. For once in your life, let somebody else finish, <laughs> including the women you date. Now. Now, now, Sal, you are a mensch. I don't take this personally. Uh, uh, yeah. I feel like to be included in any fake Joker's bit is a is a uh, is a treat. And um, and the fact that you have taken time out of your busy schedule to sit down with uh, potentially the sweetest, most charming, neurotic, 
annoying, uh, beautiful person uh, uh, that uh, that Rick Glassman uh, continues to try to be is, uh, <laughs> is again an testament to you. And I hope one day he can repay you uh, the way he's repaid uh, his um, your big shot. His um, take it, folks. Two, three, four. May all acquaintances be forgot and all lanes out. Kevin Bacon, don't you ever want to Adam, where could, where could we see uh, where are your shows in February and March, and where could people buy your merch? Guys, you can find all my ticket information at adamraycomedy.com. I'm currently in Minnesota. Uh, can you tell by how it's freezing the, my balls? Are get? And then also we've got uh, <laughs> we've got shows in Chicago. I'll be with the Jokers in uh, Portland and Seattle in April. Go to impracticaljokers.com backslash Sal Volcano uh, <laughs> of prank calls. And then go to uh, Adam Ray Comedy for all my merch and tour dates. And please check out my latest episode of Tyso as Santa Claus. Me, Adam Ray as Santa Claus, a Jew dressed as a Christian icon. Um, Adam, funny stuff. I'm going to call you later because I want to. I want to tell you okay. what happened. Okay. I love you. Love, I love you, buddy. You. Bye, guys. Yeah, there was a moment that you felt too. That's an interesting. We did, you know, it's we felt it at the same time because I was like, because that's I, maybe we should have went for the like a little bit over the topness. That way, if he bought into it, it would have been more on him. Like you thought that he thought you and Seinfeld and Burr, you know, it would have been yeah, or yeah. Chappelle or whatever you, the examples were. Yeah. Oh, that, that's feel, an interesting, that. yeah. That's an interesting tactic, though, which is um, considering not just how to make the bit most believable, not how to make the bit the silliest and most fun, but the one that if you do get your teeth in, where could I ride it where I feel like I'm not being mean? Is yeah, that ever? That's is, where I live on the show, right? That's where we live. Everything is about believability and credibility. Uh -huh. You have to start from there if you can have anything, uh -huh. and then we just the permutations of where it could go, where do we want it to go, things like that. So yeah, I'm always, I have that brain all the time. This episode is brought to you by the Freeze Pipe. Now, Dad, you've been a Freeze Pipe user since before they even sponsored me. Is that correct? Let me say this, Rick. I've made myself the self, the self-proclaimed spokesperson for thefreezepipe.com. What do you like about it so much? I'm going to show you right now. This is what I do every day. Over the tray. Excuse me, everyone. Now, what he's holding on to, we have a little cover over it, so it's not as cold on his hands, but you keep the uh, part of it in the freezer so when you inhale it, silky smooth. Now, let me tell you something, yeah. okay? I take that kind of token, my regular pipe, I'm coughing and hacking for 10 minutes, and you know that, mm -hmm. okay? I don't, and I don't like it. If you smoke flour and you don't use the freeze pipe, you don't know what you're missing. So for the smoothest smoking pipes, bubblers, bongs, and dab rigs, visit thefreezepipe.com and use code TISO for 10% off your order. That's thefreezepipe.com and code TISO for 10% off. Shop today. Shipping is always free. Your throat and lungs. Well, thank I'll you. appreciate it. I love the freeze pipe. All right. Shall we go back to Sal? Let's go back to Sal. See if he likes the freeze pipe. Are you a Discord user? Do you need a Discord invite link to join the TISO Discord channel? That is in the description. We have over 2,000 members, and we talk about stuff like things like that, and we talk about other stuff as well. Come on in. Come on over. Join the Discord. I'm in there at least a few days a week. All right. How, um, how when do you consider the point, like, this is good, this is funny, but is this mean? Is there an example that you thought of that you ended up not doing or doctoring for that reason? Uh, we won't doctor anything, um, but if I see it, like, if... If it's in the creative part of it, we will, we will nix it right there. If it gets through somehow, more than likely, I would turn it down in the moment, which is built into the show. Right. Right. But what about the ones that you aren't performing? Meaning? I'm assuming you write stuff for other people. Yeah. Right. So have you ever gotten something before it got to that point where you're like, this is funny, but this is mean? Yeah, I mean, because we, we think of everything and we're like, is it me? Like, and we try to figure out how we can get around it and yeah. everything like that. I'm doing something with children uh, next week with Eric Andre mm -hmm. uh, and uh, in a mall uh, with, and we're, I'm a clown and uh, I, I had to like kind of fuck with kids and he's on the show and he's going to be putting me through it and we've gone through a bunch of stuff and uh, a lot of, st most stuff I won't know. So he had a, he was in the writer's room with my writers yesterday and I, they were on set today and they were like, oh man, <laughs> some of the things, I'll tell you one of, I'll, cause we can't, this is just a joke, but I'll tell you one of the things Eric suggested. Do you know Eric? 
I don't. Okay. He's the he, guy from um, the Eric Andre show? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, he suggested that um, I have, I, I tell the kid that this is, <laughs> this is terrible. He's go, he goes, tell the, bring a prop and tell one of the kids that this is the gun from mm. And that's his crazy mind. But of course we were like, we can't. I, I, he probably was joking too. He, I think he just throws every throw everything at the wall. It's in the writers' room. It's right. a safe space. Like laugh. making, like, like saying Bill Burr, Chappelle, right? Just going big, yes. and then then bringing it in. Yeah, yeah. So in the writers' room, you know, nothing's. It's just loosen it up, inspiration, laugh. So he said that they all laughed about it, but we would never do that. Right. Yeah, and I hope no one takes offense to that. We could bleep the name of the movie that it's from. Yeah, maybe do that. Just because. I don't know. I don't, I don't want. I don't ever want to make anyone feel bad. I, I'm assuming people are going to assume it's Dangerous Minds, right? But it wasn't. But it could be the one with Michael Rappaport, where he had a school shooting. Um, it's called Atypical. No, I. I it's going to bother me. Would you want us to look it up? Hey, uh, Brian, could you pull it up on the mirror? Is it going to come up or? Impractical Jokers. <sighs> what movie is Michael Rappaport in where there's a school shooting? Just ordered you more dildos for your butthole, Rick. Oh, turn the- <laughs> it misunderstood you. That See, they have to do something about the, the way that it interprets the voice. Higher learning. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Higher learning. You Wait. know it, right? I do. Yeah. Okay, good. But do you know the substitute? I think I do. Yeah, it, it's it's Tom something. I know that guy's name. He's the catcher from Major League. Who who is the lead actor in the movie The Substitute? Who also played the catcher in Major League? I think it's, it's Tom Berenger. My penis smells like a chocolate factory, and by the way, that's what I call my mother in law's butthole. Just the chocolate factory. Ha ha ha, bitch. Motherfucking bitch. Oh no, the flashbacks. Japanese submarine slammed two torpedoes into her side. Chief, we was coming back from the island of Tinian to Leda. We just delivered the bomb, the Hiroshima bomb. 1100 men went into the water. Vessel went down in 12 minutes. Didn't see the first shark for about a half hour. Tiger 13 footer. You know how you know that in the water. Chief, you can tell. Okay. Wow. Well, I guess it was Tom Berenger. Tom Berenger. Yeah. Easy with the, isn't that, oh, whatever. Just easy on the, mm-hmm. bleep this, easy on the hard R on Behringer. I'm so, did that slip out? Not as big as that. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Tuck that away. I don't want to get demonetized, <laughs> which is what I call my father-in-law's butthole. <laughs> Behringer. 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 Tom Behringer. Yeah, I guess you didn't update. Mm-mm. Yeah, the new update will take care of that. Say that one time at regular speed. The new update will take care of that. What was your major in college? Finance. How many, are, are you bisexual, straight or gay, or is there something straight. else? Straight. Straight. Um, how many women have you slept with in your whole life? Mm, I don't know. You lost count or you don't want to say? No, neither. I didn't count, but. Well, nobody counts to four. They just know the number. So at right. a certain point, you would have to count. Is it because it was so low that you didn't have to count or is it so high and you're just being like cool guy? Genuinely, I think it's probably a reasonable amount. I don't think it's lower. Or what's reasonable? You don't have to say for you. Just what's a range? And it could be a broad range. Pun not intended. What is okay. the range of? Oh, on the low end. Oh, yeah. That's you know. You, I I have more specific of a question. Yeah. This isn't just to you. Sure, sure. It's also to you. Please, babe. How many mm-hmm. until it gets to the point where it's like? I would never think this, but you know, if somebody only had sex with one person in the 30, some people might be like, dork, not me. No, I, who cares? Not even a buddy of mine only slept with one woman. I know. Virgins. He married her. Yeah. Great. Lo- I love that actually. But the high school sense of it. High school sense. Like when I'm 30, if I don't have sex with at least, right? Okay, yeah. So what is the number to where it's like nerd? And then after nerd, what is it? So it's like, not that many, but whatever. He's like not into that kind of stuff. After that would probably be what? Average or is there another level? Nerd, kind of into it, uh, average, and then I'd be like, oh, this person goes for it. There's got to be something after average to this person goes for it, because then there's like, you know, like Will Chamberlain. Right, right, right. 
Yeah. So so after average. After average, from a high school perspective. Yes. If I around thirty. Correct. Uh, fifty. No, no, no. What's it called? The categories. Oh, oh, okay. So I'm saying like there's Got you. dork. Yeah. He doesn't have that much sex, but whatever. Like he must yeah. not be into it or he's, been in, or he's a relationship. Average. Social butterfly. Average social butterfly. Yeah. And then there's got to be one more before this guy goes for it, okay. which is like the got to have it in the mm -hmm. Cold Stone sense. Yep. So after social butterfly, it actually fucks a lot. That's the only one that has the F word in it. Okay. He actually fucks a lot, but they actually doesn't make it the ultimate. Yes. I agree. You'd actually be surprised how much you. And then there's the people's like, it's come on, right. it's Dennis Quaid, right? You know, I was with Dennis Quaid in the elevator in Toronto. Who said that? I did. He oh. came out of. We were staying in the same hotel, and he came out of the hotel bar, and I was walking in, and we got in with two other people, and they actually came from the bar, and they had their pints in their hands still, and I was with my dad. And that's, that's really the whole story. He, he said, how you doing? What are you doing here? I said, filming something. He said, me too. And then he said, have a great night. And he spilled a little bit out of his pint glass and he walked away. And I turned to my dad and I was like, holy shit. We just, that was Dennis Quaid. And even he spills stuff on a daily he basis. He does. He spills. I dribble. Sorry, I had a fart. So <laughs> You feel free to do that. It's just, I'm glad you felt that you could do that. Yes. And I feel, this is a... Fast track friendship. FTF. That's yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. So, so what's the nerd? The nerd. So no, no. Now that these categories are set mm -hmm. from a high school perspective, now you're not answering it as a high schooler. Okay. It's kind of like the high schoolers answered the family feud questions. Mm -hmm. Out of a hundred of them, this is where they got. Mm -hmm. Now, where would you guess for you? What is, if you had to pick a fuck, Mary kill, even if you don't want to murder. And sure. I get, I get it. I get it. Or you don't want to get married. Do you want any prerequisite from me or just say, just say the category? Give me an example of a prerequisite. Uh, I was in three very long-term relationships and I don't cheat. Oh, okay. You know what? I like that. Yeah, but instead of it being a prerequisite, have it be the person, like here's the person, right? Here's this person. He's been with X people. Right. He's now in the category. Right. Then you play that person. And, and well, let's take turns because I like this game. Then okay. you play that person to where you're defending your thing. Okay. If you fucked a lot, you're like, I'm not that much of a creep. Sure. If you're a dork, you're like, come on up. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Basically, everyone probably wants to go up or down at least a level. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. So we're going to bring in, uh, play a little music. Welcome to Cool by Numbers. Cool. First time, long time. Cool. 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 All right, our first guest has slept with four people. Yeah. Four people. What category is that? How many numbers is that? That's, How many is or? Yeah, I did that wrong. Yeah, let me do that again. Okay, but I'm going to say four people. You got to say what category comes in. I'm going to say. Four oh, so you are you the guy? I who slept with four? Our guest, who you're going to then voice. Oh, 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 so they're not going to be seeing me? I'm confused. There's a third guest. Okay, there is. Right. When, when, when. Off camera. No. Off camera, we're going to see how much time we have if we get animated people. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. But just picture them right here. Okay. Okay. Just off camera. And if they're here, they'll be, you know, somewhere. Okay. Um, the music, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do it again. Paint. <laughs> Dude. I took a little bit of an edible. Did you? A little bit. Oh, you should have told me. I, I took it right before this decided you were coming. Okay. So I- I would have joined you. Can I give you a little piece? Sure, but it's, it's, by the time it kicks in, I'm going to be- <sighs> You got at least another half hour. It'll kick in by then, right? You think so? If it's a fast track one. FTO? Yeah. Mm. I fucking should have thought about that. Yeah. We'll do it again. I'll do it with you. Yeah. I'll do one now too. I don't give a shit. A little bit. Don't oh, tempt me with a good time. What's your tolerance like? Uh, shout out to Kiva Chocolates, by the way, who is, uh, no, Kiva. that's my brand. Yeah. I, They're not a sponsor. I one throw Kiva's all day long. So what do you need? Because I'm a lightweight, even though I do it constantly. Yeah. I, I can do anything really. I can do it. I can five, do Five, 10? I won't feel a five. I might, not, I might not feel a 10. Not, not now. I've been going through it a little bit stressful. So I'm in a 20, 25 range now for a little something. Question for you. Yeah. 20, 25, what category in sleeping with women would you put that? Ooh, social butt. 
which I like to call my chocolate factory. That's we'll be right, right back. <laughs> what do I say? Siri say, and then the thing I've never done. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Search Google for my penis smells like a chocolate factory. And by the way, that's what I call my mother-in-law's butthole. Just the chocolate factory. <laughs> bitch. Motherfucking bitch. Don't, anything. You don't Here's have to. You don't. 20, Great. 23. All right. Yeah. It's Friday night, babe. You know, I don't get high as much as I used to. Neither do I. Uh, what's your reasoning? Pandemic? Forget it. I only found and read. Well, let me finish this. We're going to get comments. I, I, I get it. Um, I will say, though, and I mean this in... Don't take this as an insult. No, I, um, I usually don't. I can't stand you. No, no. Uh, <laughs> that there was something really like uh, sweet about your that that wasn't just about somebody who is unaware smacking or chewing with their mouth open or sucking the liquids out. There was a playfulness to it that made it easier to palate. Yeah, in the beginning, but then I then I that's, yeah 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 yeah. That's that's. I, why would I take that as an insult? That was actually a compliment. I learned when I was a real estate agent. Your job is to under promise and over deliver. So whatever it is that somebody could agree to, make sure you deliver more. I understand. I was a real estate agent. Do, do you have your an old real estate card? No, not on me. Uh, I have mine. It's in there. I don't think it's worth getting. You carry it around? Yeah, wow. I found it when I was at home. I just think it's really funny. So every now and then when I meet somebody, Rick Glass, it's all beat up, you know. Yeah, but sure, it's sure, me, sure. That's funny. Like in a, in a just a big suit. <laughs> yeah. I will tell you, I wasn't a real estate agent, but this is what I had in my head. I thought you were gonna really when and I was gonna say Tuesday. And I thought that was kind of funny, and I played that all out in my head. Let's try it again. Yeah, yeah. Take it from Welcome to Sex by Cool by Numbers. Well, how many more would that be? Social butterfly? Well, you see, I learned that you always, uh, as a real estate agent, you under promise, over deliver. I know that. I was a real estate agent. Really? Yes. When? Yes. Tuesday. <laughs> it's the edible. Woodpecker peck. <laughs> the world will never know. It's like a Tootsie Bob. One, uh, two, uh, three. Crunch. <laughs> Imagine Woody was in that. Imagine he was in the fight. So, my impression, Woody, Woody Woodpecker. You do Woody Woodpecker. I'll be the owl from the okay. Tootsie Bob. All right. Uh, they walk into a bar and they do the thing. And then he goes, and it's kind of loud. All right. And then he gets a drink and he goes yeah. on. And he goes to the bar and then he goes back. Okay. And he goes, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is a bar that I come to and oh, oh one two three oh, oh, oh. that was uh, what is oh my god oh my god oh the world will never know let me hit the check shoot do you want to cut back to just being normal? Or you want to cut to back to one of us butt fucking the other one on the ottoman? Normal. <laughs> <laughs> so I couldn't help but notice you have a little bit of a cough. Yeah, it's not because I'm sick. I just have a cough all the time, a nagging cough. It's so annoying. My dad has it, and I don't know what I'm gonna ever do to get rid of it. I think it's because I occasionally smoke weed. I think that's why. And. If I don't smoke it for a while, maybe I don't have it. I don't know. I'm really getting into the answer. Why not more of this than smoking? Other um, than smoking f is cool. I'll tell you why. Uh, sometimes I want to feel high immediately. And also I want to know exactly what I'm getting into. So I can measure that if I'm smoking. You can't do that with this? I can, but like some things are like, they don't hit like other things. And some things take a half hour, some things take an hour. But if you do the same brand. Yeah. I always know. 
Yeah, I get that. I get that. I like to switch up the brands though because I like to see what else well, what else is happening there. You sound like quite the social butterfly. Yeah. Well, I had sex with about 30, 40 people. You think so? Mm, I don't know. What is um so the game show we don't need to do. Tell me <laughs> what is nerd from from zero to what? If in popular public opinion? Yeah, PPO. Yeah, because I I don't give a shit. But okay. anyway, nerd is uh oh, how old are you? 30. Okay, so we got, this is the, if the person yes. is thirty years old. Yes, I would say at thirty, unless you were in love and you married your high school sweetheart. Right. Okay. I would say people would think a thirty-year-old that had sex with <clears throat> a thirty-year-old. Ah, I don't know in this day and age. Three. Okay, I was thinking two or three. I yeah. think two. Two is probably better. I think two because two is one. <laughs> right. Two is one. Um, I had a friend. I can't. A comic one time. It's so, I can't, I'm no names. Uh, you could say it and we blur it. You could even make up a name and then we'll bleep it. Yeah. So they told me, I thought it was so peculiar. They told me they kept a, a record and they told me that they have a notebook and they have every name down and it was 1,050. This was seven years ago, five years ago. And I was like, are you kidding me? And they were like, yeah, I'm not good or anything. But I just, people know me and I just <clears throat> sleep with a lot of people. And I was like, that mean? is the funniest. They oh, said, not like, a, does, not, he never read the book like in American Pie on how to go down on a girl. Yeah. I don't think it was because of his prowess or his skill set. I just think that it was because opportunity was there knocking and he kept answering. You know what they say? So, sure. Yeah. Okay. At what point do you decide you want to keep it in a journal? And I have to imagine at that point, you're already at a number where you're like, I think I'm going to forget. And if that's the case... How many before did he remember to go back? I was thinking the same thing because it would be odd if he slept with someone and then went to CVS and bought a marble notebook right then and just wrote one name down. Because those pages fall out as well. You know that. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that. From, from, from what brand are we speaking of in particular? Need. There's no other brand in my mind. We've been trying to get them to respond to the pod for a while. <sighs> Maybe this will do it. <clears throat> you know, um, I slept with 100 women before I was 18. I actually talked about it on a talk show. Is that real? Yeah, we'll swipe to a clip. I was 12 when I when the first I lost my virginity um, to a substitute teacher. She wasn't my teacher. She was a substitute teacher. Una maestra qué? Uh, she was she was 17. It was legal. Point. Don't need to get into this. Point is, I realized, oh my gosh, I'm starting so early. I want to see if I could get to 10 before I could drive. And before I was 16, I had 55 girls for real. I know this is embarrassing. I'm making myself look so bad. And it was a competition with myself, and there's no disrespect to anybody. And a, and a lot of them, actually, an amazing pickup line that I would use is, I'm trying to get to whatever the number is. Would you help me be my, and then I would pretend that they were the last one. And then I would, I ended up f***ing so many girls. Anyway, I got to, I, I then, my second goal was I wanted to get to 100 before I graduated. And I was at 99, and the night before graduation, the night before graduation, I, um, uh, Sarah Totenbaum. Uh, I f***ed Sarah Totenbaum, and it was the 100th girl, and I told her, you'll be my 100th. She said, I bet you use that all, what's funny is, she said, I bet you use that all the time, and I did use that all the time, <laughs> but this was literally my 100th. And then I, I was, uh, I was 17, I f***ed my 100th girl on June 7th, 2002, right before graduation. I f***ed 100 girls. <laughs> I've only had 118, I've only had 18 since. Um, random f***ing and s***. <laughs> but I, I usually will only sleep with someone and, and go down on them and have them go down on me if I kind of like them and get to know them. And if they uh, play the music for a second. Uh, also, if I were to ever play the music right now, if I were to ever go inside. <laughs> and, if I fall in love. and we're back. No just cones. Plantanito. Good show. No just cone Plantanito. Yeah. A night with no chess. Um, NCP. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Mm. So uh, now I want you to be a person who has slept with two people defending the fact that they're not a dork. Mm -hmm. But it can't be because he's in love and he married his high school sweetheart gotcha. because that wouldn't be a dork. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I'm just really picky, you know? I don't know what to say, you know? I just, it's, it's always being thrown at me and I'm just not going to sell. I just want exactly what I want. And so I'll wait because... I don't like chicks that right. just aren't my thing, you know? Could you give an example of how they're always throwing throwing it at you? Like, give yeah. me two examples. Yeah, like if I, when I leave tonight, when I go right. out the door, out the front there, if there's a girl there or something, more than likely she's going to say, do you want pussy or something like that? Just that just happens to you? It happens a lot. And that's why, like, I just, I'm like, wait, what is, let me, I'll decide. 
point. And, and how come you never decide? I'll decide. What was uh, it about the first and the second that made you want to sleep with them? Well, they were exactly my type. Well, how was that? Six, six foot 11. Mm -hmm. uh, Must be hard to find. Seven foot one. This is my point. Right. You tell me the next, I've seen, I've met two. I, I fucked two of them. I, I fucked everyone I haven't met over 6'11". That's <laughs> okay. a female. Yeah. Okay. You know, my hands are tied. I, I'm not going <laughs> to fuck a five foot four girl. I'm just not going to do it. Not, 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 <laughs> I'm just not going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> You're, I don't know if you heard it, but your laugh cadence was just Woody Woodpecker without that. <laughs> Cut to it. <laughs> yeah. Use that one. So, Mr. President, <laughs> yes. Have you ever in, had a guest on anything you've done where they are a serious person and you know them, like a like a celebrity that is serious, or if like a yeah? I mean, it doesn't have to be Obama, but like at a level where it's like this is a real thing. Oh yeah, I but but it was in a comedy context, but they're serious, like more than serious people, right? But it's still comedy context. This, they're in your, but world. they have gravitas, like like uh, Jeff Daniels or Ed Harris or Jeff or, Daniels is Dumb and Dumber though. Sure, but he's also to kill a mockingbird on Broadway. Check it out if you don't discount tickets online. You can find him if you're a student or a senior. But I'm saying if somebody who doesn't do comedy, right. he knows comedy. I mean, you've seen Newsroom. Sure, absolutely. It's hysterical. It reminds me of Cone, uh, Notros Cone Pendevito. Music! <laughs> uh, I, I, in what context would I be with someone who's serious? I, I don't think I have a context. I can give you a perfect example. Sure. Um, <clears throat> you're on your podcast. Yeah. Uh, you don't have a solo podcast, do you? No, not solo. I have Taste Buds and Hey Babe. Um, both you, both yeah, I just had Joe DeRosa on yesterday. Oh, no way. Yeah. Oh, terrific. How was he? Do you want the long answer or the short answer? Long. He was great. Great. Great, man. Okay. Short answer. Great. Mm-hmm. If you had a, your own podcast, a solo pod, mm -hmm. and you had the guest of, let's say, President Obama, mm -hmm. and he comes down. President Obama, he's no stranger to he's comedy. He's not my president. Well, Continue. not anymore. No, yeah, right. It's, it's, That's exactly what I meant. Right. Yeah. Um, who is your president? Biden. It's pretty crazy what's happening right now, though. When I mean, you think about it, like a lot of people are talking about like cancel culture and uh, abortion mm -hmm. and the left and the right. Mm -hmm. But what people aren't talking about is how really they're just living in their own fucking echo chambers, man. Right. I agree with that. Can you talk about that for a little bit? I mean, people are just living in their own fucking echo chambers, man. You know, it was never like that. Now it's like, what? It's like, we're getting, well, technology did it. Yeah, technology did it. Yeah. It gave everyone a microphone and everyone a stage. <laughs> and not everyone needs that. I don't need to hear everybody's opinion. You know what I'm saying? Before even get qualifying whether they need it or not, it's they don't, they don't, it's, it's a power that they, that, that is, that is, is dangerous. I believe so. You know, there's the, there's this, um, um, right that is to bear arms, mm -hmm. right? Now, some people say, you know, do we need a big, you know? Do you need it? Well, what about a, you know, because when it was written, it was, that was when they had it, the, 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 the poured in, mm -hmm. 30 seconds, three minutes before. Right. It had, they didn't envision. There was, yeah, there was nothing really, there was no uh, spontaneous violence back then. Well. I mean, you could slap someone or shift them. But you could, yeah. Yeah, but you no gun violence, no spontaneous gun well, violence. Not at, not at, not at such a high. Right, that's no. a bit right. I think someone I saw a bit like give her only sell muskets. Someone did a bit with that, and then you'll well, you know gun violence will drop. Right. Yeah. Well, that would kind of be like <laughs> <laughs> that would kind of be like uh, only sell dull knives, and not that many copper pennies would be cut in half. Correct. Have you done that? It's a federal crime, but I know what it is. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. That could have went worse. Could have went worse. That's the best it could have gone. Yeah. <coughs> Let me know if you need another drink or something. Just make yourself <laughs> comfortable, you know? I feel like you just gave me your nagging cough, and I mean that with the most respect. Yes. I'm going to fill this up. <coughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> I, I I'm lucky I didn't gag. I, I have a weak constitution. 
<laughs> Speaking of the presidents. I fucking love puns, dude. <laughs> For real. One of my best friends is black. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, you want a potato? Uh how's it prepared? It isn't. Yes. <laughs> I have two regular or I have two sweet. Uh, one sweet is fine. Okay. You want yeah. it now? I'll take it home with me. Okay. Unless if unless you're gonna have, I'm not gonna have a potato alone. <clears throat> if you wanna have a potato with me. Uh I used to I was young and I was I don't wanna say I was depressed. Prove it. <laughs> Wow, you're the wrong person to say prove it to. Oh. You are the wrong fella. Yeah, yeah. I once had a, I, had a, I was dating this girl. <laughs> prove uh, it. I was <laughs> <laughs> wow, she was a real looker. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> dating this girl. I mean, I'm gonna like people can know who I'm talking about now because I'm saying. But I was married, mm -hmm. and uh, I said I'm gonna fuck your mom in the chocolate factory, mm -hmm. and she said prove it. Uh, <laughs> and I, being the jokester I am, I said you mean poop it. And she said, she laughed and she was, she thought it was so funny. She started gagging on my cock because mm -hmm. when I make her laugh, she would always be, you know what I'm talking about? Some mm -hmm. girls when they just think you're really funny. Yeah. So she's giving me the business, sure, sure, right? She's playing with my balls. This old tale. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Well, that's what, that's what my ex-wife's mother called my dick. Oh, really? <laughs> no. Oh, but continue. How, how far along in the marriage was it? The end? Mm -hmm. I mean, I slept with my mother-in-law. Right, but Boy, I mean, was my arm what, tired. What was the tenure of? Yeah, yeah, ten, ten, ten year. Okay, ten year, ten year. Yeah, that's a, that's a shame. That's a shame. You don't think you could have made it work after that? You know, I, I did talk, you try? Did you even try? We tried. Yeah. Okay. We went to uh, family therapy. Okay. With my wife and the dog. The, my wife and the dog. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, the therapist. I mean, our therapist is my my ex mother-in-law. Okay. So it was awkward. Did, okay, break on the, did you get a break? Did you have to submit to insurance? Or was that all on, on the arm there? Oh, no, yeah, I pay, there's no, they don't, insurance doesn't cover it, 150 an hour. Okay. <clears throat> oh, that's not bad. It's not bad. Family discount. I mean, I'm getting hosed if that was the rate. Are you spending, what are you spending, 275? <laughs> Damn, you're making that much money? I, How many women I, have you slept I, with? I, I, I got three therapists, and I think they start, it starts at 275 and it goes up from there. Um, therapists or yeah. one of them you have is a psychiatrist. One is, right. that's the big, Most is that expensive. the one? That's the big one, right? That's the one that can that's write the, you uh, scripts. To that's the big weed. bucks. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? 450? Yep. Whoa. So you have one that is to, you check in with every now and then. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Two separate ones. I, I, I don't, why would you want to do that? Okay. That's so like actually keeping your, all your cards in. Two it's, binders at different homes. It was one for a while, then it was another one. And, and now then, you're transitioning back? Yeah, and they're both fine. Let's I just, say A was the first one, B is the second one. Yeah. You're you're seeing A and psychiatrist for how long? 10 years? No, not even close to psychiatrist is very new. So you're seeing A for how long? At the beginning. Wait, wait A is the beginning one? A is the first therapist. A is five years? Five years, and then you decide, I got to leave A. Much the <laughs> way you are um, with something else that I'm forgetting that you like to change things up all the time. What were we talking about? Mm. Motherfucker. I get that. I like to switch up the brands though because I like to see what else well, what else is happening there. You sound like quite the social butterfly. Yeah. Well, I had sex with about 30, 40 people. Oh, uh, yeah. right. Exactly. The, remember? From before. Right. Yeah. You remember yeah. what it is, right? Absolutely. I know what it is too. We both know. No reason to say There's it. There's no reason. <laughs> Why waste each other's time? People spend most of their time wasting their own time. I find that when people are talk, or is it people are, yeah, well, and they start doing that thing. Mm -hmm. No, actually, I think it was, mm -hmm. it's okay. Yeah. I don't need that. Part. Let's move along. Yeah. Yeah. That's something I do now. Ooh. Yeah. I like that. <clears throat> I know someone who does that because you just said it and it reminded me of someone. <sighs> oh, that's who it is. You know what I'm talking about. I want to let you know. I want to brag. Yeah. I want to let you know how quickly I knew what bit you were doing. Really? I knew that actually reminds me. I was, I already knew. Really? Well, can I blow your balls off? You decided that after you actually forgot the yes, name? Yes, yes. I knew it. But then that makes me not look as quick as you thought I was. No. Well, <clears throat> the truth is, I don't know you. I don't know what you're doing. Sure. But I do know that that's on. <gasps> I remembered. Eric Lederman. <laughs> <laughs> 
Shout out to Eric Lederman. You, you literally a have a cadence and a way about the way you speak that reminds me of one of my closest friends. Yeah. Let's get him on the phone. Tell him Kevin Bacon thinks he's funny. Yeah. Dude, when you said my sister's ill and you couldn't <laughs> get it out. <laughs> oh. that, I still feel bad about that. Yeah. I, mean, I have residual. This is going to be a long car ride home for me. I don't know if you heard that how. I hear it. Oh, it's time for uh, Sal, you know, poops his pants. <laughs> Can do it. No, I couldn't do it. You did it. No, you're a liar. You got glass and bopped. You okay. just pooped. Everyone's okay. gonna think. Okay. We Fair. did it. Fair enough. Um, when when I I because I was like, oh, I feel bad. And I go, hey, sorry. And he goes, no, hold on a second. And then he got a little sharp with me. Who? Adam. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. A little sharp. <laughs> I listen, I get it. I'm yeah. there. Um, I uh I wanted to read I've never seen him. Yeah, I, I don't know. Comedy sharp, not yeah. real sharp. Oh, comedy sharp. Fine. Comedy sharp. I'm with you. Like I'm saying, he was making the choices of why don't you shut up for a second, and then he, I don't remember what the ribs were, but sure. he had a couple of good oh, ones. Oh, those, yeah, that was. Yeah. I thought you meant very, very immediately, like what is going on here? I thought, like, he, in that part, you thought he was like, no, no. Once yeah. he knew it was the, the podcast, oh, yeah, and he's, he's like funny. blaming me. For I it. would love. I, I got to watch the episode of him on this because oh, so many. he's. I mean, to, to see. I mean, just to what you guys pick up and put so down. much fun with him man yeah uh we he and i have spoken about this but so i was always i was friends with adam for uh about as long as i was with my ex-wife okay and maybe even longer before, 10 years yes mm -hmm. and we were close but podcasting then we started like you doing, guys were close but no cigar i don't know okay yeah you know what i i, I never really was there a cigar No, there wasn't. That's yeah, I knew it. Well, most things that are most things you don't get the cigar until it finishes anyway. Right. So close cigar is, almost, is the reward. Yes. Right. Well, cigar is the celebration. Okay. You you have a baby. The baby's the reward. Right. The cigar is the celebration. You run a hundred meters. You come in first, and you're off for the season to celebrate the win. Right. Right. So I think kind of by design, close. Is, is the is the no cigar is assumed like the one in front of an X, right? Like you don't write one X plus you know twelve, right? X, X, X assumed X is one. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, yes. So I feel like close is no cigar. Okay, so it, it didn't need to be said. I'm just saying. I'm I first. I'm like, how did you know that? And now I'm realizing I'm seeing the magic trick. Okay. It's smoke and mirrors a lot of the time. Well, it's mirrors, right? But no smoke. Yeah, no cigar. First base. Nice, Adam Ray. We're friends. Yes. <laughs> we started doing, uh, we started seeing each other now for like hours at a time, randomly. Just, you want to come do this? You want to come do this? A lot of times he's dressed up as whoever the fuck he's dressed up as. And he comes over and the whole, I mean, the whole episode, he's in the beard. Well, also, I'm lying. Technically, that was really Santa. Okay. But if Adam were to do it, the whole episode, he'd keep the beard, the gloves, hot, glasses, fogging. Yeah. Doesn't miss. Commit. Doesn't, doesn't miss. miss. Yeah. Doesn't miss. You gotta love it. It's kind of like Family Guy. Even if it is a miss, yep. It's like it doesn't matter. It does not. You don't matter. even know it missed. It's no. just. Boom, and there's already boom. another one. Yeah. yeah. It's already. Yeah. It's a bummer that you and know, I had that falling out. Yeah, I was there for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me? Could we go back to the 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 number thing so we could close that up, or is this? Or are we? Is that past? Uh, the number thing, meaning that uh, the, because the we did one through you, three, one? I want. I, I'm down for whatever you want. Yeah, I still want to do that. Yeah, let's do it. I'm just feeling like myself, like there was yelling and flying and bits and this, yeah. and I am feeling a come down, and I want to. Not, I'm not sure. Like, am I projecting? Are we? You know, like, do we call it or? Oh, uh, I see what you're saying. I, I don't want to. Okay. But like, I don't know you. You don't want to miss sure, your sure. dismount. Right. Um, we've only gone. It's almost forty minutes. No, it's got to be longer than that. Yeah, it's longer than that. But I, I, there's so much we're editing out between for stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like somebody sees a two-hour podcast. They, they slept over for a week. <laughs> yeah, oh, God. Is that is that how by the time you cut everything out, just like- Sometimes we cut over You know the percentage hour. off of, like, you know what the- I bet you it's more than that. I don't know where we're at now. Yeah, yeah. I would love to find it. But I, I guess, yeah, I guess it's it's maybe just over an hour. Yeah, I'm, I'm good, man. So whenever you feel it or you want to go, or you want to- No, this is nice. Yeah. I'm just coming down. Okay. Let me just fucking relax. Ebbs and flows. Ebbs and flows. That's Alf's parents' name. Flow and ebb. Yeah, he told me that today. S swear. Swear to God. Because my dad's old restaurant, which I just talked about with Joe DeRosa. I remember I interviewed my dad in third or fourth grade for like a interview somebody assignment. 
and I asked him questions because of the restaurant. And where'd you come up with the name Flow and Eddie's? Like, I just thought, I just thought about it. I don't know. I just ran him. I just pulled Flow and Eddie's. And I just always believed him. And years and years later, I found out that there was a band called Flow and Eddie's. And he goes, yeah, I'm from the band. I just thought it sounded good. I'm like, I thought you came up. You fucking, it felt like such a big lie to me. I'm pretty sure that was Joe DeRosa. Mm-hmm. Uh, Flow and Eddie's was the name Flo of his restaurant. Flow and Eddie's. It's, it's different. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Never mind. Would you say close or would you say close but no cigar? You know, you know what I would say. It was different. You don't have to ask me. Let's move on. You don't have to ask me questions that we don't. Before we get to the numbers, could we try, since you don't have a solo podcast, what it would be like and I'm coming in as your guest? Sure. Yeah? Yeah, I love it. Could the podcast still be called Take Your Shoes Off? Why not? But this time it's with Sal Volcano. Absolutely. Okay. It's another reality. Can I get you some milk? Me? Yeah. No, please. You're my guest. If you want milk, I get you milk. I would love some milk. I have whole. I have skim. <laughs> no, we don't have milk. Oh, no. I was going to go to the store. <laughs> no. <laughs> How am I going to do the bit then? Well, we could follow you. <laughs> <laughs> well, just so stoned. We think this works. <laughs> it's, just, it's just, you know, 18 minutes of just. <laughs> just no, we should go to the store. And get, I'm not going to. You want milk? We're going to go to the store and get milk. And then let's just take the camera, go outside, go down to the corner, buy the milk, come back. Do you want to do it? I'll do it. I would do it in a heartbeat. All right, let's get some milk. We'll be right back. Okay. was one of the coldest New York winters I've, I've felt in a while. I mean, it was chilly today. If, if uh, this were last week, I would probably want this to be hot milk. You ever had hot milk? <laughs> one of my best friends. Really? Drink it all the time. I never really drank hot milk. Do you, what, what, what do you, what, what's the context in which you drink hot milk? Uh, if there's cocoa in it, period. Oh, okay. Period. Okay. You led me astray. Have you ever drank warm milk to settle your stomach or go to sleep like a chamomile, like that kind of old? A, that wa old? a warm milk would do the opposite of settle my stomach. I Even with Lactose. my hot cocoa, I don't generally use water. L.I.? I used to be. Okay. Uh, I, me too. I was never 
I was for two, three years, and I and I and I lost it again. I've always thought of you as someone whose lactose intolerance follows the same pattern of him seeing his therapists. Yep, a long time, then not. Yeah, and then coming back. Super analytical. I'll ask the question. So, um, no, no, that was us coming in with milk. Okay, <laughs> this isn't my talk show. Yeah. Now we're going to come into your talk no, show. No, but on my talk show, I asked you if you want milk. I said, please, you're First my guest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go in. It's your show. It's your show. Come on, we're going to go. Scoot doo, blabbery blue, scoot dee. Oh yeah. Would you like, is there a thing you'd like to, would you like to Fine. No, I'm good. Okay. Thank you for having your, your, uh, your assistant bring me this water. Oh, of She's course. beautiful, by the way. Yeah. This is, this is our place, actually. Yeah, she is. She's a real humdinger. Yeah. She's a great gal. She's super smart. The pod wouldn't be where it was without her. Actually. Oh, yeah? Yes, where to go. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we've been meaning to do this for a little bit. Thank you for having me. No problem. So you've heard of Take Your Shoes Off? Mm -hmm. Yes. I've seen clips. It's T -Y -S hysterical. TYSF. T-Y-S-O. Mm -hmm. I do this thing with acronyms. I'm not that good at it, but I'm trying. Tell me what you've heard of. of you've seen it? I've, I've seen clips. Okay. What's your take on it? Funny. Uh, Adam Ray's on it all the time. Mm -hmm. Very funny. Um, I, I don't like, do you do all of that? editing just for the clips or the whole episodes actually that high production the value? The whole episode is that high. It's a lot of work, man. It is a lot of work, but what are we here for? I'm not afraid of work. Are well, you? No. But what do you yeah. mean, what are we here for? Like we're here to work? Yeah, no, I mean- I don't it, think we're here to work. I'm here to commit. That is interesting. Yeah, I, I try to do 110. 110. Now, you're saying this in life in general or in your career? Oh, everything. You know, there's a saying, um, and I'm forgetting her name. We'll put it up on the screen, but she says- well, how, put how, it up, We'll put it up on the screen? Yep. Just put it yes. up on the screen. Yeah. How you do something is how you do everything. Hold on. Go ahead. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm showing my penis. That's in this the magic of what we do here. I take your shoes off. Yeah. So what's up? Why did you think to ask me to come on? Like what's uh, like, cause we don't know each other. We follow each other on social. Sure. Sure. Well, uh, that's kind of why, I don't know. You've been orbiting me for a while. And uh, I, I see you here, I see you there. We have mutual friends. I, I saw some clips. I thought you were very funny. Orbiting? Yeah. What do you mean? Like you're the sun? Like, like I'm the sun and you've been traveling around me and I'm a bright light in everyone's life. I actually could get behind that. Yeah. Yeah. And so I said, if this earth is going to be circling me all the time, I might as well get to know it. So at least I'm him. earth. Yeah, you're earth. Him? Yeah, oh, me, because I'm a him. Yeah, yeah, but earth is a woman. It's a woman, yeah. Mother. Or, Anything that yeah. beautiful. Who is Rick Classman? That's a really, really good question. He's um well he's still he's still learning. Okay. He's um he's happy and he's content. Same thing though, right? No, no, no. Uh happy is kind of like a uh I think of more as an so, energy as a place to be. Content is satisfying. Content and satisfaction are two different things as well. I was actually going to say he's not always satisfied. Content as in enough is enough as good is, as a feast. Okay. This is enough, but like, and I'm, and I'm happy for it. And those, I think um, with, uh, uh, with uh, content, content, being content mm -hmm. and happiness, a lot of times that helps drive gratitude. Mm -hmm. um, but though I'm grateful for what I have and who I am, and by what I have, I mean, of course, my award-winning you know, drama, acting credits and stuff like that family. Yeah, let's put let's put that up, uh, please. His credits at the end, uh, John Michael. Thank you. I I'm also, sorry, I might, I just might stop. Every, I, I've one, seen from the clips, yeah, he's the editor just, you yeah, talk to. Yeah, I just turn, I don't want you to think I'm being disrespectful. I just turn, because I'm doing a whole, I'm here, I'm, I'm editing in my head, I'm producing You're in live my head, editing. I'm doing all that as we go. Yeah, I've heard yeah. you say a lot of bits, you'll stop the camera. And, and that was, what was that? This is your place. It sounded like ice was falling. Yeah, that was ice falling. Um, I, I remember you actually, um, yeah, because you told me, well, let's cut to a clip. Yeah. Okay, we'll use that. Yeah, so that's it. That kind of stuff, and then we just edit it out so nobody sees it. That is a lot of work, but what are we here for? We are here to have a good time and get to know each other. Um, we are here on this 
marble, this crazy marble that you to love and to make the most of our time. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's where I pick it up from. I, I believe, uh, I don't believe in God, but I believe in something as well. If you we want to get into that. I actually heard, I remember you do an impression of like somebody who's not the most religious, but has the cadence of a preacher. Yes. Could you tell me as like, as a preacher, what it is that this podcast is and why you're wanting to do it and what you, what you get out of this podcast and what you think other people are getting from it. At least yeah. what you hope they're getting from it. Absolutely. Yeah. This podcast is my brainchild. This podcast. <laughs> I just want to say something. This is my preacher. Yeah. I, this is, I grew up with this guy. It sounded just like You this. mean Biden. I was nailing it. Okay. I know you laughed because that doesn't sound like your preacher. But newsflash, it's 23 and not every preacher sounds the same. So if you want me to do stuff like that, I'm going to need you to have an open mind. Yeah, I, I just, I just, I just. Would you give me the safety of being able to respond authentically without judgment? Absolutely. Am I not doing that? Well, I mean, you said something that was that was interesting to me, and I just responded honestly with, I wasn't judging you. I, I don't think you were okay. doing anything wrong. Well, that's good. We're communicating further, and now I understand that. Yeah. I thought I was making a point, a counterpoint to uh, to what, you, you know, because it, tone gets confused. You know this. You used to be a real estate agent. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Well, I was only real estate agent since last Tuesday. Okay. <laughs> next Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. See you next See Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. For the acronym heads. Yeah, of course. The AHs. I know. Or as um, I like to call them, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. What was the most, uh, what's the biggest sale you've ever made real estate wise? I only sold uh, uh, one home and I represented a buyer for one home. And, and then you tapped was, in and out. Yeah. So I, uh, I um, <laughs> graduated from college. Um, with a business achievement award. And then uh, I wanted to move out to LA, but like I was saving some money. I was living with my parents. My aunt was selling her house in LA. I saw how much commission they were gonna be sure. paying. So I'm like, I wanna do this. Got my real estate license, didn't do much. I'll tell you, if there's one thing I learned, it's to over promise and under deliver. Absolutely. Wait a minute. You know what, why don't we switch places and you be funny and I'll be an asshole. Okay. No, it's under promise, <laughs> over deliver. Of course, yeah, I knew what you meant. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and then I saw it. I sold the house, represented the buyers. I probably made you know two grand. Okay. And then another one. I probably made. I probably made five, seven grand in a year. Uh, the classes were, I think, were twenty two hundred. Right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> so that was it. it was just a little. Di you dipped a toe. I would say I took off my socks and I was at the pool, but I don't even think I put my foot in the water. Okay. Oh, that's another podcast. Take your socks off. What would that be? We've had take your shirt off. Okay. Swipe to it. I like the shirt, but I thought this was a... Uh... Please take your shirt off. No, it's take your shoes off. Take your shirt off. I'll swipe to it. Wait, what? We just, it's it's just it's your something podcast. in the matrix. I don't understand what's going on here. <laughs> yeah. When this episode comes out and there's no animations, <laughs> no <laughs> editing. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> you know. Take out every direction. <laughs> just, just we, did, we did things so many times, you know. <laughs> Although I do think a lot of that will stay in because, I don't know, I'm just laughing during these setups with you. I, you, know what, you know what I wonder, though? Are some episodes I way know. heavier than, well, I'll, I'll tell you, it, it's a thing that people do. That's like a... It's just a phrase. I, I didn't. I didn't really think you're taking it literal. Okay. Uh, it was rhetorical in a sense. Um, do you have episodes oh. that make believe it's your pod? Real quick. What do you mean? Make believe this is your podcast. Just real quick. Oh yeah. Do you want me to walk into it? Yeah. You might as well walk in. What's the bit I'm going to do? Uh, I'm just going to ask you a question about mm -hmm. something, and that this was Great. your Let's podcast. Sal, thanks for coming over. Oh, did you hear me? Sal! I have, I don't have these on. Hello? Could you hear me? Oh my God, dude, lower your voice a little bit. Do you not know? I mean, this is, you've done this, right? I've seen it. You have like five, 10 episodes at least. Shouting, there's no need to shout. <sighs> Much better. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to start. I don't want to start off like this. I need, I, I'll need to make it. It's just yeah, that I have SEA, SED. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So. Silly erectile dysfunction? No, sensitive eardrums, you know? Oh, S-E-D-Y-K. Yeah, yes, exactly right. Why, yeah. why? 
E R. W, I think. Wow. W for sure. This is a, do you do it at parties? I don't get invited places. Okay. It's cut to me at a party be asking everyone <laughs> to move out of the way so I can pretend to be flying on the ottoman. <laughs> 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 and doing this. <laughs> Everybody, Rick, 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 Rick. Yeah. Um, anyway, thanks for coming over, man. Uh, yeah. You said in the elevator you wanted to ask me something. I don't know what it is, but I said, let's wait until we get on the pod. Yeah, I would love to know from watching uh, pod the pod here and there, are there episodes that are like, What's the biggest disparity in editing uh, for a pod that you've had where like this one's like, oh my God. By tone. This is by tone, but just by sheer volume, like do this, do this, do this, do this, like all the different things. Like, is there an episode that like was like so dense and there's by nat by nature uh, other episodes that are like, or is it just you're driving it so it's pretty consistent? Great question. Yeah. Um, with that, I will say that episodes have so many different tones where usually there's funny stuff, but sometimes it's not the funniest episode and it's serious. And sometimes it's neither one of us know who the other person is and it's balls to the wall, right? right. Um, so usually with the sillier episodes, there's more edits because sure. the edits are generally comedic bits, right? Either contextualizing or recontextualizing something that we came up with here. All right. Barf. Edit that in so B. people understand. Yeah. Um, but... Uh, the most is typically bits uh, being edited is either Harlan Williams or Andrew Santino. Okay. Oh, Santino, sure. I he just I just did a podcast with him two days ago. He's another person that's one of the quickest people. Each in other the world. sentences. Ah. Yeah, each other sentences. Very quick. Yeah, a lot of bits. Yeah, and also when people come on multiple times, uh, which they have, they know the format. Sure. So they're coming in. And they're like what you're doing, but actually giving specific things. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know. You're, you're, you're young. You know, I, I don't want to, I don't, I, you know, I don't want to do that. You know, I mean, I do, but like I t I'm taking your cues. I don't want to like overstep. Yeah. Well, I, I would love for you to know if you ever come back on my pod, mm -hmm. um, it won't be overstepping because okay. we could always not do the thing. Sure. Uh, or I could just go like, stop. Right. Well, yes, I, yeah. And would you do it just like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. How do we feel about keep, keep I think I'm going to, do we going back on your pod? Or are we uh, good? You want to settle in? Uh, yeah, sure. Let me put the milk in the fridge. Okay. If you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This you you ever put a girl's milk in the fridge? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there. there. That's Play okay. the Benny Hill music and fast forward as I put this in. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry about that. I think I, <laughs> I think I, I thought I lost my watch. <laughs> <laughs> Only time will tell. <laughs> now that's a funny joke. <laughs> give me a sec. I'll tell you another. Oh, I'll give you a minute. <laughs> oh, oh, clock. <laughs> Ten four. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. That's a good circadian rhythm. Yes, nine and three. Ten and two. What's the coolest? Who fucks the most? How do they hold the steering wheel? Fucking the most? Yep. Right-handed one. Right-handed 11. Left-handed 11. Right-handed 11. Right 11. Fucking the most. Oh, yeah. I think one. I think 11 is assuming you're only making right turns. Okay. I think, I think 11's in the pocket. One is like knows what it wants. And that to me is, as I'm not a teenager anymore, that to oh. me is what's attractive. Okay. Like sometimes people will be embarrassed about something and it makes them seem like a little uncomfortable. The same person with the same request or, or, or like that is like, yeah, I'd like to get, you know, my knees licked. Right. Like he's so confident about it. He must hold it at one. Okay. Yeah. Right there. Firm. Who's an idiot? Where, who's an idiot? The finger, the guy. Okay. Finger on six. That's an idiot. Finger on six is an idiot. I'll tell you, and I've done it. Knee at six. K 
careful, buddy. Wow. Especially when they're eating salads. Yeah. I see people in LA, you know, where everybody's phony. Yeah. I see people eating uh, sushi or salads with chopsticks or forks. Uh, with the knee at six? The knee at six. On the freeway? On the freeway. Well, well it's a freeway then they're when it's stopped. Yeah. Well, I mean, no, but they're not traveling at the regular speed. It is stop and go. Stop and go. Yeah. 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 I've done it. I would do it again. Stop and go. I'll tell you what, actually, no. Because you know what I realized recently? Stop and go is just as bad, if not worse. Because you need constant, constant focus you on don't, what's going on. You don't just get in, in an accident from driving. You sometimes get in an accident from not paying attention to the other drivers, even if you're parked. Right. You know, if somebody else is trying to get over it, you didn't move people. But yeah, you're not gone. We've all been there. Huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do? Yeah. You're not going to do anything. I take you as a very timid person. Not timid in a bad way, timid in a reserved way. Yeah. I mean, I, if a girl licks my knee, I'll, I'll enjoy it, but I'm not going to ask her. Right. In bed. Right. Now you got dry knee. That's <laughs> <laughs> good merch. Yeah. Now you got dry knee. <laughs> Racist almost. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I was going for. <laughs> What is your merch? Do you have merch? I got great merch. Yeah, I can imagine. We what got, do you do? We got an arrow going up saying cool guy haircut. Okay. It's from a hip rap song that I did for a basketball video. I am phenomenal. I've seen it. Swear to God. Swear to God. Don't Kevin Bacon me. I swear to God. Swear to God. I've seen it. Well, you want to see the shirt? Yeah, sure. I've never, I've never, this will be the premiere of it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. I would love it. Music. <laughs> It's like I meant what I said and I said what I meant. That as a kid, I didn't have the most friends. Okay. Okay. This is what I always wanted. <laughs> Yo, I love this. It takes having a podcast where people are like, I guess I'll go play at his house. I know. This is all I ever want to do. This is, I mean, that's from the heart. I I, mm -hmm. I, I said it because I really felt, I don't, it's, I I feel like I'm like, this is like when I'm like, mom, can I just stay? Can I go to, and it's just like, whatever. Just fucking pure imagination. And then it's going to be edited. Right. And then we have it. Yeah. Like, a, like, like when you go to an arcade, I used to like at arcades, I would either want to go in the photo booth or the crane doll game. Crane. Or something that gave tickets. Because mm -hmm. I wanted to leave with something. Yes, yes. I, I, I feel the same. And I'm you, not, I swear I'm not just saying that. You're talking my language. Did you get excited when you were going to play over at a friend's house or they were going to play over at yours after school and you knew that and they had a slip to go on your bus? Did you guys have that wherever? Uh, the slip with the bus, no. You could just get on any bus? Uh, I don't know. I didn't take the bus. I lived close to the school. You walked? Uh, sometimes, but not when I was younger, but when I was older. Wow. Yeah. That's like in movies where like they're walking on the train tracks. You want to see a dead body? All right. It's like from Fried Green Tomatoes. With Oprah? No. Oh. You're thinking of the color purple. With Prince? No, no. You're thinking of Purple Rain. With Bruce Willis? <laughs> no, you're thinking of Die Hard in the Rain. First base. Die. I'm thinking die. Oh, die. You, oh, you mean with Pierce Brosnan? No, you're thinking of uh, Golden Eye, oh. <laughs> James Bond at 64. <laughs> oh, oh, you, you're talking about uh, the one with uh, the young girl in the pool there and the, and the young girl in the lake? Yes. <laughs> okay. On Golden Pond. I don't know what that is. Okay. And I knew that I was nowhere near knowing what yeah. you're doing. So the only choice is. <laughs> and, you, and you knew right away. Uh -huh. Why? Well, you know, like you could calculate the odds. Like, oh, what the fuck is this? Like, yeah. I'll try for it. And then, ah, but there it's yeah. like, oh, you mean the one whose hat never had a happenstance with a yellow accident? Mm. It's like, I'm not going to guess this. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Did uh, you see Drake. Paddington too? Drake. I saw it as well as you. It, I didn't see it, but I, why is I everyone re? Oh, oh, okay. Okay. So I've just heard Paddington too. I haven't seen Paddington, and I have heard from multiple people, some of which whose opinions I very much like. I really need to listen yeah. because I love when they have opinions. Yeah, Paddington is one of their favorite movies. Yeah, I didn't see either, but just recently I heard people raving about Paddington too. But like, like adults, and I'm like, oh, I, what, what, what is what is with it? And I thought I'd give it a shot, see if you saw it. Mm. That's exactly what happened. I thought that, 
And then everything has, as it took place is the whole story of that. How much of your comedy is explaining a thing literally? Not tell much. me in a jokey way. It's a, it's a peppering. Mm. Yeah. How much of my comedy is explained to you literally? Ooh, you, you do a lot of EPKs. Yes. Electronic press kit. When a, the interviewer asks a question, mm -hmm. you have to repeat back the question mm -hmm. in complete sentence because they're going to cut the interviewer out. So then it makes you look like I really wanted to talk about this thing. Interviewing 101. I think interviewing 102 should be about answering the question you want to answer instead of answering the question that was asked to you. I like that. And that is something you do on late night, I've learned, actually. Actually, um, I have a but funny that you bring up late night because um, of my video I am phenomenal I got a cool guy haircut put in the music I am phenomenal I got big check balls. this out I got a cool guy and you happen to have a cool guy haircut no way simple oh clean. I like that a lot yeah who picked the font um you know it was made by Holly she has done a lot of the artwork that's that's her handwriting oh no uh, we'll shit. put up her Instagram uh, St. Clair here oh wow that looks like that's a handwriting that's a handwriting well she was raised right mm-hmm this is, I like it. And I also like the choice of the the color. Is that like a speckled? There's a few, that's an oatmeal. It's a tri-blend. Will you show, show, show the camera? Yeah, sure, please. Cool guy haircut up here. Now, we were thinking about putting together a cool girl, a cool he, she, a cool they. Uh, and I had her write the artwork up and everything. It takes so long with all the colors to do all the things. I'll be honest with you. I just picked the one that was the lyric. Cool guy. If people come and say we want cool girl or whatever enough, I, gotcha. I think I'll need to see 25 of those. Okay. That'll justify it. 50. 50. Oh, this guy fucks. <laughs> <laughs> Is that 50? <laughs> I think so. 49. Okay. Okay. Social well, butterfly. No, not social well, butterfly. One oh, wait. You said 50s. Were Isn't the worst one this guy fucks? Let, let's, yeah. No, you're right. Yeah, it was. I'm 50. a math guy. Forty nine. Okay. Well, what's we didn't the, define them all, but you. What's let's, the word? Let's start the, over. Let's okay, start. Okay. One to two is nerd. Nerd. Um, what is the one? The next one is like you know it's it doesn't take uh, a lot of girls. Uh, I mean, whatever. I can't. Average or no? That was the no, next. no, no. Okay, average yeah. is three. It was it's right. A five points. Right. Okay. So like I guess it doesn't sex that much, but like whatever. He's whatever. out there. How many is that from three to? Uh, thirty years old. Three to mm -hmm. ten. Wow, you think having sex with 10 people is- by, Wait, by 30? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're talking averages here. We're not talking about people who are celebrities who have the car waiting outside. Right. Who, who's that? Who's that, me? Is that the same as me? You got a car outside or what? I got a car outside. It's only because you're coming from work. It's only because I'm coming from work. Right. I swear to God. And I you, I felt guilty doing it even. And and then one of my, my our, our assistants was like, are you kidding me? Go. Because they're paid by, I mean, they're getting- Yeah, that. so the car has to wait, like, you know, however long up here, and then that goes tacked to the bill. This goes back to my production, right. but I still feel a little guilty. So I'm, I'm always like, ah. Feel guilty for the production paying money or feel guilty for the car having to wait? No, 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 he's cool. There's my boy down there. Shout out to my boy? Mo. Moe. Yeah, Moe. Shout out to Moe. Gotta go to Moe's. Gotta go to Motels. I wish I could write jingles for commercials. That's what my cousin Teddy does. Bendegrass? I don't like to speak about other people. Okay. But I do have a cousin Teddy. He's a favorite on the pod. Every, pe we know cousin Teddy. We'll cut to a clip. Yes, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the cat in the hat. Just trying to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, uh. Oh! He's a Long Island brat, smokes pot every day, very cool guy, very amazing musician, legitimate, amazing blues jazz pianist. Oh, wow. But he is a jingle writer. Let, Let me interject you. Check you, check you, check you. That's, That's Teddy? Teddy? That's Teddy. And earlier in the show, when we were when I talked about uh you know, how cool is your number, guys? Yeah. You know, what's yeah. going on? How, how, how are things? Remember the yeah, theme song? Of course. I said, if we have time, we'll clip it. We're going to send it to Teddy. That's when you said Pendergrass, first base. Wow. That's him. First base He's is a jingle writer. So you you hit first base when you think like it's like hitting a single? No, first base, I say, because it's in the cadence. When it's in the cadence, you know, if there's ever a little of this, a little of that, it seems like a conundrum that could finally come together. The only way it can make sense is if we both think different things. It's gotcha. the same thing. 
You might be a redneck. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Yes, yes, yes. But jingles, he's, he's, yeah, you could do them. I have a jingle for Mo. Okay. When the way it's long. It's more like a, a theme song for a commercial. Okay, fair. For a place like, called Flaming Moe's. Okay. When the weight of the world has got you down and you want to end your life. Bills to pay, a dead end job, and problems with the wife. But don't throw in the towel because there's a place right down the block where you can drink your misery away. You go at flaming most. You do that. Okay. okay. Misery away. Wait. At. at look, oh. Watch this. Misery. Don't do anything. Okay. Well, you can drink your misery away. At flaming. Okay. Gotcha. Right? Yeah. Flaming most. most. Right. Okay. Okay. Where you can drink your misery away. At flame, we all go to flaming most. We all go to flame when Mo. liquor in a jug could warm you like a hug. Happiness is just a flaming mo way. Could you also? I could tell when people are smiling while they sing. Did you know that's a thing? Close your eyes. Tell me when you hear me smile. Oh, really? Yeah. Close your eyes. And happiness is only flaming mo way. Huh. You couldn't tell. I did it halfway. I know. You did it for the la the, the second half. You tried. It was. It, I heard it. I heard it. Can't you? Yeah. All right. Yeah, but I felt like you were putting it on a little. Watch me and tell me okay. if you think I'm Okay, it. okay. Right. Could warm you like a hug. Happy days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I stand corrected. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're um. Could you sing something and, and then smile and try not to have any affectation and tell me if you could hear yourself smiling? Okay. Okay. Someone made a store just for me. Food emporium. Food emporium. You can't laugh through it. That defeats so the whole obvious. purpose. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know what it was at first. We don't have that. Do you know? Oh, I mean, I know at Food Emporium, it's the, you know. Do you want to hear the song? Yeah, but could you do it? Sure. You want to start lower so you don't have to hit your head voice so soon? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I don't think like that. Yeah. You're, you, you clearly are musically inclined and you sing. Why, yes. Someone made a... Start lower. Really? Someone made... Yes. Ooh, watch, okay. watch where you're going to go. Like because when you're smiling in your falls, it's not the same as smiling in your falls. Okay. Yeah. Someone <laughs> made a store just for me. Food emporium, food emporium. <laughs> Someone has my kind of quality. Food emporium, food emporium. Someone made a difference. The people who like things better. Quality and quantity just for you. Someone made a store just for me. Food emporium, food I, tr I started low. I never hit that. So I'm that's upset with myself for not remembering this singer's name, mm -hmm. who you sounded just like at mm -hmm. the beginning in the Food Emporium. I, I mean, that wasn't the voice at all. Mm -hmm. My buddy George Creekus has a cover album of his. Tom Berenger. Is that, <laughs> it? Is that the name? Is that who I sounded like? So three to ten. Yeah. You think is? Yeah, he's a, this guy. You know, he's 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 a good guy. <laughs> that really came from my heart. <laughs> Why is it that you feel like somebody who hasn't had sex with as many people is a better chance they're a good guy? I think they're all good guys. It's just I'm choosing to name this guy the good guy. Okay. I have a theory that people who do sign language or are deaf and yeah. or are deaf, um, people think, I bet they're a good guy. Yeah. That's not a theory, but that's a fact. You see somebody walking you, down the street and they seem like bad news. And then all of a sudden they go and they start doing some yeah. signs. You're like, good guys. Of course he's a good guy. I mean, I can't imagine of seeing someone signing all that piece of shit. Could you? That's the thing. You know, when you think about it, absolutely. You're right. Because law of averages says that there's a sign language out there that's a real piece of shit. Have you seen Maybe that? Maybe we don't judge a by its. <laughs> <laughs> Be my childhood friend. Really? Yeah. It feels like it. Is it just because you're high though? 
I don't know. Because I'm not as high as you yet, but it has started. Right, right. So, That's fair. So That's are, fair. are we playing, you know, with a with a with a, with a pine Maybe. tar bat here or what's going on? Well, the thing is, it's like I saw Step Brothers in the theater high. It, I couldn't believe what I saw. Right. I was ready to go see it again, but it was the last showing. Okay. Like right away. I don't know if I would ever want I've seen it many times since. Okay. I don't know if I would ever want to watch it back to back. Sure. But it's there's a reason I felt that. Right. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. So I don't know. Right. Um, I'm with you though. I'm but you. dude, there are some jokes that that literally like dose you with dopamine. Yeah. And the book one did it for the book one oh, made thanks, me just like man. Well, it was it was it was at the buzzer or something, maybe. I don't know. I didn't do it, but thank God I got it out. I just thank God by the last at bat. I mean, it was such a fun loving. Of course that's the joke. Right. Did not see it coming. Great. Delivered. You didn't you didn't throw it at me. You yeah. asked if I wanted it. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. It was a finesse to it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, thank God at an hour and 10, I did that because I wouldn't have want to walk out of here. <laughs> you assume that we, the last hour has just been 50 minutes of you just walking around and me asking you to do Woody Woodpecker a bunch. Could you give us one that will cut to this one yeah. instead? Go, just go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, exactly. But that? as you, yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, you, you wanted that on the nose. That on the nose. On the nose. Oh, okay. okay. But just not in his voice. In Ga yours. Gotcha. <laughs> Fun devices, right? Yeah. As a matter, can I just tell you another thing? I'm, yeah. I'm the way that you operate is the way that I operate. How so? I do that. What you're doing every day when I'm on set, like live I mean, editing. Yeah. I mean, just, it's always constantly going, you know, I'm playing the producer, the person right. out there on the field, the right of the fucking, Absolutely. and it's just, you have to like, you know, I have to make the show from every angle. Uh -huh. So, you know, it's not like, I, it's not like I Cut, switch camera. Yeah. I have to, I have to understand every, every position is what I mean. So I have to really do it all. So it's like, I, it's, what skill, like you I, are very impressive with this though. Thank you. Very impressive. It's like another, it's like a next level though. Thank you Yeah. yeah, yeah. very much. What do you think that skill set, which I connect with you on, like I have developed, this is also my pocket. I love deconstruction. I love, I love bits. Everyone does, but I feel like I've, there's a reason this podcast is this thing. This is my thing. And I do it every week now, Yeah. but I got good at live editing. Where does that skill set translate into something else beneficial? Does that make sense? Like stand up or improv, you'll get good at uh, reading a room. You'll get good at bits. You'll get good at you know not being so nervous mm -hmm. speaking in front of people. Where does live editing? Where could that benefit us outside of the shows we do it on? Oh, outside of I was going to say besides literally how you're using it on yeah, this yeah, podcast. Yeah. Like what does yeah developing sure. this skill that yeah. you and I do because yeah. we do multiple hats at once. Yeah. Wow, I really you know I worked out another muscle. You know I right. Every th most things yeah. are something. Right. What, so what, where, where does this benefit? Yeah, does it? Could you see like- every, every, It's like every day though. It's like when people are like, you know, I take improv class, but I don't want to be an improviser. I just want to be better than You know when they say that kind of thing? Mm -hmm. I think it's just like- Yeah, but that- I see it popping up all the time. I, mean, I Reading a room is, I mean, not, not, a, not a club, but like not a- No, no. <sighs> okay. You mean the skill set, like the literal skill set? The skill, the skill set of doing improv or stand up helps with those things. Right. What I'm saying is the live editing, the knowing, you know what, actually mark this or whatever versions that you do. You know sure. what, actually let's have them come in again, get the reaction so we can have the, whatever it is. Yeah, I was taking it more broad. You won't, you mean that granular. I was I was thinking like, yeah, I'm just very observant, you know, so I'm saying- Oh, like, so you don't do live edits. No, I, I do, I do. But I, I just thought you meant like, when you said like, ah, not this, I just thought you meant like in regular life, how does it apply? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. So I'm saying outside of, Filming stuff. Mm -hmm. If you're out to dinner with family, or if you're, you know, uh, at the Olive Garden, or another place. Let's say you're at the Olive Garden yeah, with well, who's who's uh, you know normally you interview everybody that's my them. everybody that's my family. Who who, who we got there? J Janice is the hostess that I met first. Okay, so you go in. Uh, uh, I'm Denise. Janice. Uh, I don't. Two ends. It's odd. All right, I could do Janice. I'm, I I've taken an improv class. Yeah. I'm Janice, yeah. and um, there, uh, you didn't call ahead. You had a table a reservation for seven. Mm -hmm. You figured a table like if it's seven could fit eight. You yeah. didn't realize. So uh, now you're coming with eight, and I'm Janice, and now 
well, we can't seat that yet. You could wait 45 minutes or if you want to sit at the bar. Mm -hmm. Show me how your live editing things coming in and keep in mind your family's behind you. So you could play all the characters of the family, much like Eddie Murphy in um, Training Places. Yeah. Right. Uh, Welcome to the Olive Garden. <laughs> My name's Janice, and we are so excited to have you. Do you have a reservation, sir? Uh, um, I do. Thank you. How are you today? Well, we all working at the Olive Garden, so I could be worse. <laughs> That's funny. Oh! <laughs> uh, I'm here with my family. Uh, it's uh, we're celebrating a birthday. Birthdays at the Olive Garden. You know what that calls for? A cigar. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't smoke, but thank you. So we nailed it. Okay. So anyway, we're I want to start over. Yeah. I didn't like the cigar thing. So okay. You can keep it in to show that. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> I, I also want to, I, I mean, to me, I'm confused. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I edit on the show all the time, like self edit all the time, even on our own podcast and my other podcast. But, um, to, hey, babe, the taste buds taste buds, no, no pressure network, or Joe DeRosa, hey, Chris Stefano. Um, no, uh, but like, I'm trying to play this game. I'm wondering, are you saying use this skill set to make sure I get seated despite, uh, you know, despite wanting an extra What else could it possibly be? Right. Okay. So, <laughs> but like, I don't get how I'm applying. That's what I'm saying. You editing. said Olive Garden. I was giving you your place. But I, but how would I, how do I use this That's skill set what there? I'm asking you. I, have, I don't know. Oh, then just fucking say it, man. <laughs> oh, I thought I did, bro. Okay. So. So we've developed a skill set to live edit. Does yes. that translate outside of making our shows? No. Mm, I mean, I mean, I'm live editing in my head all day long. But if, even if it's if it's just like me, just saying like, oh, that like, oh, okay. If I'm looking at like, uh, for, for example, the sky sk skyline here. Okay, what's that? I'm like, you know, it'd be better if that if they didn't build, move that building that high, then both of those could have been able to, and it would have just cost a few floors. I wonder if somebody, right. I wonder if somebody from that building uh, tried to contact someone in that building and had the idea. And then it was, was it like, they were like, no, or was it just like nobody ever asked and it could have been done if they would have done it? You know, you're kind of like a detective when there is no crime. Okay. Sorry, I thought I had a sneeze. No. You're seeing things that are otherwise low stakes, but you're seeing the angle. Yeah. I think that we're <laughs> worse for a state. Was that worse for a state? <laughs> so you're telling me trying so hard. So you're telling me, and you're like, yeah. Um, get me out of here. <laughs> I don't know. Worst first date. In real life? Yeah. Never had one. Never had a f bad first date. Never. Never had a bad first date. Never. Okay. Did I have a bad first date? Um, I did poop my pants on a date and I slipped on the poop. And when I fell, I broke my arm. <laughs> right. Uh, that's your best. I guess that one. That's the best date ever. Okay. Okay. Well, let me say something to you. Yeah. You don't want to blow a gasket because I'm not a machine mechanic. Mm, take it again. Take it again. Young man, I can't bear fools. Do, young man. Take take it again. Take it down. Take another one. We'll get it. We'll get, you got that. Am not. <laughs> Burned. What is this? This is a category called invoking the classics. You want to hear them? Yeah. Bite me. That's timeless. Bring it on. Not as timeless. Oh, it's so on. Same department. Feel special now? Not even. That's not a thing. Take a chill pill. That's ubiquitous. Talk to the hand. Unfortunately, that's ubiquitous. Talk to the booty because the hand's off duty. That's niche at best. Yeah, okay, that's fair. But that's not what your mother said last night. That is the old timer. I sometimes, when when I, when I read a comment, there's a little bit of a burn. I say that's not what my mom said last night. I like it. Because my mom would never say something like that. Uh, up your nose with a rubber hose. It takes one to know one. All right. Okay. That That bothers me. Those bother me because it's deflection and it's negation. Okay. So I don't even think that's a burn. I just think that's gaslighting. Oh, okay. Not hearing my feelings, but then pretending you don't hear my feelings, but then actually knowing it well enough to call that me. Don't like that. Yeah, I could see that. I never really realized the conflict in that. 
Thank you. Mm. Is that one? No. Oh, you read it like a, I'm like, oh. No, that was me <laughs> telling you that I never realized the conflict there. Uh, whatever. Funny because you're going to assume it's ironic because it's so old. It also doesn't take a lot of time. It isn't hateful. It isn't mean. Whatever. If you do it with a voice, it's almost just connecting on like on a There's device. There's no victim. There's no victim. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's an easy character that anybody could play. Yeah, but where is it on the scale of Burns? Of like, you know, like think Burns that you've heard of or like are popular or not popular. Isn't that the game we just were playing? I was just I thought you were just telling me some thoughts you had about each one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I was playing the game. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <the music. laughs> okay. Now what? <laughs> That's one. I swear? No, not on here, but, but it, is, it yeah. is. Okay. As if same as whatever, but more, 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 less about the time that people said it and more about from the movie Clueless. Mm -hmm. Clueless owns as if the way Michael Scott owns, that's what she said. Okay. It wasn't from them, but I'm always thinking of Clueless. Sure. Of course. So if someone were to say as if to me, go ahead and say it. As if. I would probably say something like, I, uh, he had the, I had the picture that you took right. in my locker. My bad. Right. Right. Rolling with the homies. Oh, I you forgot hear the that smile, one. right? I forgot that one. Try yeah. singing that without a smile. It'll sound dark. Okay. It's going to be hard now. <sighs> Rolling with the homies. Are you okay? Uh, is it is it bad? Oh, it sounded Okay. Are, okay? Okay. Try it with a smile. <laughs> Rolling. <laughs> Rolling. <laughs> It, it like works. Rolling with the homies. Yeah. Yeah, it does work. It yeah. does work. Rolling with the homies. Oh, wow. Rolling with the homies. No, that's not real. No. Ro rolling with the homies. Rolling with the homies. Rolling with the homies. <laughs> Rolling with the homies. You know, it's like, it's like, what'd you do tonight? I went to this guy, I know him kind of, we got a little high. We just talked, it was nice. We got to know each other. What'd you guys talk about? Cut to just rolling, rolling with, with the homies. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're about an hour 15 in. <laughs> oh. uh, am not. Yeah, that one's just, that guy has sex with zero to two people. Yeah, that's not good. Am not. Uh, well, here you go. You're not going to like this one. I know you are, but what am I? Now you like it for one reason, but you don't like it according to the logic of the it takes one. one to know one. Yeah. So look at that. That broke the mold then. Because do you like that one or does that one annoy you still? Because if you like that one, that's special. It takes one to know one is gaslighting. I don't think I know you are, but what am I is gaslighting. It takes one to know one is lying. It takes one to know one is assuming mm -hmm. I know the stuff that you're saying enough to say that it's you, not me. I see it. But I don't understand why you feel this about, right? Uh, I know you are, but what am I? Not only is that to me more of a more of a generic one. It, yep, it's like a, a generic, it, it generic a, insult. But it does the same thing as take one to know one, doesn't it? Take one to know one doesn't seem playful. Take one to no one is, is hey man, uh, thanks for showing up to my podcast late. You're so fucking disrespectful. Yeah, well, it takes one to no one. Every right. time you show up to set, you don't did it, you know what I'm saying or whatever. Right. Yeah. I know you are, but what am I is like, uh, hey man, uh, nice sweater. Why don't you get one that fits? Yeah, I know you are, but what am I? It's kind of like, it's playing back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it's not, it's as, not as rigid. It's not as rigid. And it's, uh, is, does any of that have to do with that it's coming subconsciously from Pee Wee Herman? I know you're what am I? Is that Pee Wee? Yeah, that's a, I don't remember. That's Pee -wee the well first place I ever heard it. Oh, well, I, maybe I, maybe it was a, maybe it was it. maybe it was a long time ago thing. But he he was the one. I can't I can't hear that without hearing him. Right, that's your clueless. Yeah, that's I mean that's a big one though. I'm surprised you don't know that one. I know, I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> I, <laughs> I know it. I don't know it oh, from Pee Wee. Oh, really? No, I'm saying I know it so well. Okay, and I know you are, but what am I? Is a basically saying your mama. It's like, oh, you're or obviously going back and forth with jabs. I know you are, but what am I? And then you would be like, a dweeb. I know you are, but what am I? Right. A cunt. Right. And then I know you are, but what am I? And if someone said your mama, that would that would be a that would be a checkmate in that's that check. battle. That's a check. No, that's a check. You have to now move your king onto the board of yeah. Where well, your mama's so fat, she plays okay. pool with a pen. That's yeah. That's a, that's a good skill level you're at. Yeah. I'm a live editor. Okay, exactly. So there it is. Mm -hmm. Well, it's being applied to this. 
but I'm rubber, your glue. I'm all whatever you say yeah. bounces off of me. Six, and six, six, six to you. you. The problem with that one is everyone knows it so much, and it's such a, there's such a long beat. Once you say I'm rubbing with glue, it's basically giving the heckler yeah. another microphone. Uh, yeah, you better be the Micro Machines guy if you're going to Could you play him? Hand. I could not. I mean, I can if you want. Yeah, I want to see, because I just found, I can't play him. I look nothing like him, but you look like you could be a young him before he lost his hair. Wow. So um, Thanks. I, I have an audition for it. Yeah. Um, and I would love to see how you do. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, I mean. Hold on, let me pull up what the sides are. This is gonna crash and burn this bit. I just I I'm also clairvoyant. <laughs> gulp, gulp, gulp. Okay, question for you. Um uh you're uh, having the instincts to know quicker. You know, you never know for sure, but you have a feeling it's not worth going this way. Yeah. Uh where a bit's not gonna work and you bail on it. Yeah. Versus being able to try it and if it doesn't work, you could take it out. Uh okay, what's and what's the question about those two things? I don't know. Okay. I love, I love the, I, I like, I like where you're going with it. What I'm saying is like the instinct to know, like, yeah, yeah, no, it's not worth doing. Which, which one to go with in that and moment? And when you, that's the fork in the road right there, right? But there are some times where you could do it anyway, mm -hmm. because if it doesn't work, you get edited out. Of course. And then it's a fun game to play. And if it fails, the failure is fun. Right. But there's also the risk of then that losing momentum that we could have otherwise had. I, a hundred percent. But then if you don't do it, Though you don't lose the momentum of the time of the bit, you may lose the momentum by f someone feeling shut down. And no one wants that. I can't find the Micro Machine script. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, good, because sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Wow. Micro Machine. Dramatically detailed, stupendously styled, smaller than enough, this one or this one. And now with a totally terrific town. That's one take, right? Oh, I took. Wow, sorry, that's a real thing. Sorry, I, I, I don't think it was one take because was. I, I, sorry, I spoke over that. That's fine because okay. it was B roll. Um, that's a. Oh, did they cut away? Yeah. Um, a lot okay, of I, oh, I thought they. Were, I thought he was like a real G. So that is an interesting. Uh, um, uh, I read a story about that guy, but forgot. I remember finding out something about him. I do too. Yeah, and I don't know what it was. But I thought it was like, like I think like he he played with a different company's mini cars. <laughs> no. Imagine that was the scandals back then. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah, I mean, there there was no other right. There was no other micro machines. I mean, he had no competition. It, it, there was no GoBot. Right. Right. Mr. Wonderful would maybe say that if there was another one, they'd be a cockroach in the space. Mr. Wonderful? What happened to the micro machine guy? Shark Tank? Yeah. Okay. John Miss Shikatia Jr. I'm obviously saying that wrong. Uh, who is the fastest talking person in the world? Steve Woodmore. Oh, wow. Steve Eat Woodmore. A can dick. <laughs> 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 I remember when I said everything in one second. <laughs> <laughs> is that a play on I remember my first beer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He's born in London, England, though. That's it. No, it's okay. <laughs> his occupation. What do you think his occupation would be? Two words. Uh, pharmacist. <laughs> no, you know, that's not what he does. Oh, OK, fine. And that's one oh, word. Oh, a voice actor. Electronics salesman. He was categorized not as the talent, but as the salesman. Wow. I wonder if he was part of the company. Wow. Maybe that's it. I found out something. Maybe I met his son. I don't know. Something happened. With I mean, that there's man. a big raid <laughs> yeah, like, of London met his son. You know, like will, something horrible. I promise you, the day look, that I look it up. The day that I hold on. No, it's not even in the, in the index, so I'm not going to flip through the whole thing. Forgot what we were talking about. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> I think we could call it, dude. I had such no, a good time I, with you. Yes, okay, we can call it. But I—that's gonna bother. Oh, I know, I know what I was gonna say. When I, I find did meet out, a son. when I when I find out what it actually is, the connection I'm thinking. Well, it if it story. happens before this comes out, send me a video. Sure. Um, have it be horizontal, please. Okay. I'm and I'll swipe a, to it now. Otherwise, we'll swipe to uh, you sucking my dick. Okay. <laughs> um, 
all right, what do you plug? You know, what do you yeah, wanna- absolutely. So uh, my solo tour just ended, but I'm starting our national uh, Impractical Jokers tour. Uh, you can get tickets. And Ray will be a guest on one of them. Adam Ray actually will. Yes, yes. You can get tickets at impracticaljokerslive.com. And we're- <laughs> Thank you. We have about 40 cities on there. We're adding more and we're starting in Pittsburgh and Jersey and Boston. Uh, yeah. And I have two uh, podcasts. One's called Hey Babe and one is called Taste Buds. And you can find that on the No Prush Network on any way you listen to podcasts and on YouTube if you want the video. <laughs> okay. Just when you watch this, you're going to see these were all just lasers of the words coming in. And then the Hey Babes was coming in on a tractor trailer. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I, it's, I, at, it's at the end. We're not going to pay for this. I got some for the sounds. I got it. I got it. Yeah. yeah, that was fun, man. Well, you know, next time we do this, it could be us. It could be our mothers. That would be something. That would be really something. And the I'm cold open. Go ahead. I'm willing to try. The cold open of that episode would be us setting it up and then saying, however, five months later, exactly. a year and a half later, whatever it is. Yes. And then we'll show a little of that. And then, uh, well, they'll be like, oh, our boys are so fucking rock hard. <laughs> and then we can cut to us having big boners and we'll just use this. <laughs> All right. Um, thanks, dude. Yeah. You gotta get a Polaroid? Yeah, for sure. Stay there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, man. Funny stuff, dude. We'll edit out all the racist stuff you said about all those minorities. You don't have to. Okay. <laughs> uh, don't shake it. That's uh, Miss Nomer. Um, that's actually Mr. Nomer, which is Andre 3000's first wife. That's where he got it from, where oh. he said, shake it like a Polaroid picture. Well, when did you find that out? <sighs> this is the old school. You go like this. Yeah. This didn't do anything. But yeah. people thought it made it develop it. Like, to, like if I don't do this. There was a song about that. It was Shake, shake It Like a Polaroid Picture. Remember that? No. Okay. Name drop much? <laughs> Let me tell you something. You should be called IRS. Because I always be shopping. No. But that's also good. Thanks. Because you, you have the receipts. Okay. You know what? You should be Take called it. Arby's. Okay. I do have the beef. The meats. meats. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. Yeah, it's like, what was the one from fried green tomatoes? A fried green tomato. Fried green tomato. Have you ever had a fried green tomato? I have. Yeah. I normally don't like tomatoes. Cornmeal? Cornmeal? Yes. Yeah. Um, unless they're in a sauce or chopped up. In a, in a, what's that? In a sauce. Okay. My mom is from New York, and there are some words like garbage that isn't the way I say it, but I do say it that way often. It comes really? out because I hear her, her say that. Yeah, yeah. Like, but so you, it's unintentional when it comes out that way? Um, subconsciously, I might be like, I might like the cadence. Like I can't pretend like, no, 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 fuck you, dude. That's how I talk. Right. No, fuck that. If I farted, I'd be the first to admit it, bitch. You know, people get real defensive about yeah. those kind of things. Wow, that was really good. You know what I'm talking about though, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Right? <laughs> if there's anything you need to know about me and you don't, so okay. we could just end now or I could tell you something. Yeah, sure, whatever. Very good at analogies. Yeah, I see you. I see it's like a beautiful mind. Yeah, it's it's another it's another skill. The self editing, the, the analogies. It's really. Have you always been analogous? I don't. I don't know. I. I don't How know. far back can you remember being like that? Like on the playground, just fucking hurling analogies. I, at people? I don't. I, I know that when I was young, having them would have helped me understand. I did have, like many of us, some learning disabilities and some special classes I was in. Sure. And I did learn to speak with analogies, not for comedy, but to better understand. Is it, okay, is it like when da 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 or da-da-da-da? Like I would have to ask things. And I remember when I would ask people that, it, it was like an annoying thing. I don't know, like, because also I was probably being silly with it and making jokes, I guess. I don't remember. Does that a lot of that make its way into your stage comedy or no? The 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 origin story or the- No. The- um, yeah. 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 Now, um, now just a lot of like that kind of thing. Yeah. I have a joke where I go, uh, you know, it would be something like, like a guy and a girl go, you know, um, stuff like that. <laughs> mm-hmm. That what I just did, here's an analogy. What I just did of a guy claiming he's good at analogies, getting called out and then needing to come up with one is uh, Steve Carell and 40 year old virgin in the poker game pretending that he had sex. That is the boobs feel like bags full of sex. Yes, yes, yes. Did you ever see Good Boys? No. 
Oh, you must. I think it's a uh, modern day, very good comedy. Alexa, remind. Siri. Yeah, uh, she's pissed. She's I'm pissed. so sorry. Siri. Nope, nope. It's a friend of mine. Alexa is a friend of mine. Alexa is a friend of mine. I did that once in a viral video. Really? I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to back you up. Like your friend. It's like. It's just a friend of mine. It's a friend of mine. I'm here. It's his friend. It's his. Yeah. And I'm about to come. <laughs> oh. Um. No, but uh, Siri, play. Uh, uh, remind me to watch. Good boys. Good boys. So oh, there's no a scene chief. in it where sharks come oh. cruising by. Sorry. So we yep. formed ourselves no. into tight grooves. It was sort of like you <sighs> see in the calendars. I've had about enough of that. So tell me about Gold. it. Space work. Nothing really in there. Yeah, there's nothing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's your there's I, your drip. I should have pulled it there. <laughs> there's <laughs> your drip. I do this bit every day. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Um. So. Oh. So. This is the scene. This is like the sandbag scene, uh -huh. right? They're they're like in like third grade or something. Maybe maybe fifth grade. And uh, let's say fourth. Let's say no. Let's say sixth. No. Make them seniors. Let's say fifth. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. So it happens. Graduate today. school. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No. So um. And one of them gets a beer, and they're like, oh, they all go into the woods to drink the beer, right? And the kid cracks it open, and he's like the big like bully or whatever, and he swigs it. And he's like, oh. I feel it already. <laughs> like one, he takes a sip. And he's like, "Oh, I feel it already." And then, and then he goes to pass it to the antagonist of the story, and he's uh -huh. a good boy, and he doesn't really want to do it. And so he takes it, he puts it up to his mouth, and he like blocks it so he doesn't do it. And he goes, "Warm." <laughs> <laughs> Warm's better than I feel it already. Yeah, well, no, but Warm's it's, more it's, believable. It's, a, it's like a cold beer. Oh no, 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 no! Sorry, sorry, I fucked it up. I fucked it up. He went. Hot. <laughs> it was hot. Sandbag. Same thing. That's, right? a, that's a good call. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see after editing um, how much the chemistry was there versus how much it was shot at the Kiva. But I got to tell you something. Yeah. I, I found a friend. Thank you. I, I agree. This was so much fun. Very good. Very good. Thanks for having Long me on your podcast. Long time coming, man. You, you are welcome back anytime here at T-Y-O-S. T Y Y T T Y S O at here at T Y S O. Okay, keep them all in. <laughs> and I, we like to close our episode the same way every time. And keep, that was with keep, the, them in, keep them all in. Keep them all with a theme song to Welcome Back Cotter. So I'm gonna go uh, go to the P real quick. If you could just give us the Welcome Back Cotter, sure, and scoot do. Welcome back. To the place you always dreamed of that. Welcome back to the band you all are da da Well, the names have all changed since you've been around. But the thing and the thing and the turn around. Ooh, I know we need ya. Ooh, I know I need. Right there is where we need. Right there is where we need. Well, the thing and the back and the thing and the back. Welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Thanks for coming over. Dude. No problem. Thank you.